All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're here with some late night Age of Empires. Uh, my apologies for the lack of age streams lately. I've uh, my wife and I came down with a bit of a like a throat chest cold in the past few days, so just kind of been out of it. But sorry if I sound a little bit different tonight. But uh, I couldn't resist. Had to get on and play some games. I'm gonna miss hanging out with all of you. So let's go ahead and switch on over. I played some games offline, so we can go ahead and take a look at the progress we've had so far. I played. Who have I been playing? Delhi. HRE seems very, very strong, but you know who's actually been one of the more tyrannical factions that I've played in the past couple uh, days has been the French. Like, I've been running into, like, non-stop French players. I don't know why. Maybe maybe some sort of data came out that they're very good and everyone's jumping on it. But we're pretty close to, uh, to Diamond. Basically, I played... I don't know. Let's see how many games I played in total. Let's see here. Yeah, so... When is the new patch? This is the 21st? Yeah, these are standard. Does it say ranked? Yeah. So you can see we played a bunch of ranked games. Won most of them. I think we lost three and won about like seven. So we're pretty close. To like, honestly, I think we're like one or two games off diamond tier. And then from there, we can make the climb back to the uh, good old days. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You know, I thought I thought a couple days ago uh, when I had that Total War stream, I just felt like absolute death during the whole stream. And uh, after that, I just like for the next few days, my voice was just gone. Basically, it was it was wild. And uh, feeling a little bit better now, as you guys, I probably sound normal. I don't feel quite normal yet, but I'm drinking a coffee right now as well. I usually don't do that, but you know what? You got to gotta get the energy from somewhere, man. Gizmo says, I have to say I'm loving it when you use medieval artwork for your thumbnail. Yeah, it's, it's pretty classic stuff. Indeed. Hey, welcome to the stream, Fallen, Fallen's Code. So we're going to be doing mostly 1v1s tonight. Uh, I don't really have the steam to like cast like a full game. So we will do an FFA most likely to close things out, but I'll be playing in that uh, FFA. Sounding zesty. Hey, there you go, man. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I can't really project though. I can't like push my voice more. It's uh, it's still still recovering a little bit. My apologies. My apologies. <clears throat> I always feel bad. You know, ages. I, I I love playing Age of Empires. I love streaming it. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not like I don't like just recording individual videos for Age, but I love just streaming it with you guys. It's so much fun. Turning into a Nurgling. I know. I feel it. I feel it. Nurgle is uh, Nurgle's getting there. <laughs> nice, deep, scraggly voice. Yeah, excited for the great stream. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, yesterday was even deeper. You know how when you get a little bit of like a throat, chest cold, your voice can get super deep? Man, yesterday it was, uh, it was out there. The coffee comes out for the sweaty 1v1 games. That's right, man. The thumbnail would be 10 out of 10 if it incorporated Danny DeVito. I agree with you. I think so. That, that's one of the missing elements. The wrists are doing good. Yeah, they're doing good. I've uh, been playing a fair amount of age offline. So off stream, I've been playing at night and uh, yeah, getting those reps in, man. Uh, have I been playing a Bassid? Not in ranks. Although I do really like a Bassid because I kind of like I'm a bit of a boomer style player. Like I like to just do macro and, uh, you know, like tech and get multiple town centers. So Bassett does suit my play style. I actually like them quite a bit, but I'm not practiced at them, so I'm a little bit hesitant to actually like play them. <clears throat> Dude, like every single like okay, so I've been climbing from platinum where you know I place very very low, but like okay, this this could actually be a Smurf. I don't know. This guy's got 17 wins and only five losses, and he's like high diamond. That's really good. That's like an incredible record. Yeah, he's almost conquered this guy. So this is not going to be an easy fight by any stretch. Let's just go English. English is like old faithful for us. Although, do we want to go deli instead? You know what? Let's go. Let's go to the deli shop, man. And go yellow. Hey, Ledron, thank you for the fifty. He says, "Hail sir, and quick donut before heading off to the old bed." <clears throat> thank you so much. I'm 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 at the very tail end of a cold koala, like very very tail end. A Bassid versus deli. Wow. Okay. This is this is probably some poor conqueror player, like conqueror three player from last season who plays too low. He just has to climb his way back through the pits. Yeah, it's weird. Like, even though I placed him, you know, like, I think it was gold or platinum. Um, basically playing, like, only super high-level folks most of the time. All right, let's get the sheep. Get the sheep. So we're going to go for the second sheep, just to take them away. Bassett do, they like their berry bushes, but they also like to switch their sheep at some point. So we'll do this. You go here. Just drop you guys off. And wheelbarrow, please. The hell is it not working? That was weird. Anyways. All right, so second scout, let's go up the year and look on the side of the map. Got to get this warm-up game out of the way. Just got to take the fat L right to the face. All right, so we got the wheelbarrow coming. Let's go ahead and switch you. Let's get a house. Should be good. So many of the maps have been reworked, man. It's, uh, it's a whole different beast now. 
The berries don't stand a chance. You know, win or lose this game, those berries are going to be uh, they're going to be absolutely demolished for sure. So my usual build order with Delhi is to go with um. Oh wow, look at that. There's actually like two berry bushes on that side there. My usual build order is to go for lumber mill, and then I get two villagers on lumber, and then I go in on gold from there. It's pretty good. It allows you to get your mosque, and by the time you hit feudal, you should have efficient production as well. And also, you get early forestry, so there's a lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff. Not like the craziest sheep run. A basset usually do to go with the double uh, double scout as well. Okay, pretty good gold positioning as well. Koala, hey, thank you. Appreciate that. I saw you guys talking about the uh, the MCU when I was getting ready for the stream. Yeah, Winter Soldier, that era of like Marvel movies, those are the best for sure. Like, I think Winter Soldier might actually be my favorite. I really enjoyed, I mean, Civil War was fun too. Yeah, I mean, Endgame, you know, all, all, I mean, all those were, were so, so good. But like, pretty much, yeah, the, I, I would agree with you guys that the Marvel movies after that time period is just, uh, yeah, it's not quite the same. I mean, there's been some fun ones, but there's nothing that feels like it's like building up to something like truly glorious, you know? It, it's a bit of a shame. And he is, uh, we're getting a ton of sheep, actually. This is, this is pretty wild. Okay, let's go see what we can find here. <clears throat> so we're going to play Sacreds. We know where all three Sacreds are. And that's that. Yeah, we're going for them. Got the wheelbarrow, got the forestry coming out. We got those. Three on gold should be enough. Now we can just go back to this. And we got the sheep dropped off. Perfect. So let's drop you. And head to his main base and go scout. We just want to see if he's getting stone. I mean, a Bastard player is pretty much always do the same thing. Yeah, they, they just go to TC. Because with how good fresh food stuffs is, like the other builds really just don't feel like super great, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, you can head back. Let's go drop you off. There he, there he is, the dreaded uh, enemy harass. Man. All right. So almost got our moss coming up. So let's go ahead and set this up like so. Perfect. And let's go see if he's getting stone yet. You're going to drop this bad boy off. And let's scout the back of his base and see what we can find. Yeah, the original Iron Man's were fun for sure. Yeah, the the, the, the first generation of the MCU movies were so good though. They were, they were pretty hard to beat. I mean, I, I love the original Avengers cast. But yeah, the newer ones I just can't get as into. It's a bit of a shame. Okay. So, a little bit off. Sorry, guys. I'm still recovering here. I'm not, not going to be quite as sharp as I usually am, which isn't very sharp. So, you know, the, the bar the bar is low today. All right. So, it's good. I think we forgot to get efficient production as well. Let's get our scouts together. Go do a little bit of harass. So, the higher is the House of Wisdom. Uh, I don't believe he's getting any stone yet. Okay. Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, we could actually do some pretty trolly shit here. No, it's too close to his town center. Yeah, so see, he, he he didn't build the what's it called, so I was going to actually try and like body block the spot where he wanted to build it, but <clears throat> it wasn't going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. Alright, so everything's coming together. We haven't made any like catastrophic blunders yet, which is good. Usually I do at this point, and what I like to do is um, leave only two on gold, so... Like, you only need two on gold with Delhi. All your upgrades are free, and, and then you're going to be getting your gold for Castle Age from the Sacreds. With this style of play. So, a Basset, okay. So, we need Horsemen fast, because Camel Archers are potentially a thing. <clears throat> Fair amount on gold, actually. I don't know if we can actually harass this. Let's go see if we can. Let's go see what we can make happen. That's pretty fast. Alright, so we're getting a raid. You should always do this if you can. Yeah, we're just sitting here. I mean, if we can get a Villager, that's pretty sweet. Okay, wow, we actually forced it back. That's pretty nice. I think we're just out of range of the TC. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we forced him off gold. Oh, is he actually going to the other gold right now? That'd be pretty crazy. Let's go over there and see. That would be a very interesting choice. Efficient production isn't quite going to finish, which is which is unfortunate. I was a little bit off with my timing on that. Okay, so let's get the jump of faith going. You guys can jump on the trees here, and we need this, this, and this. Great, and then we want to get a stable. So we can do a little bit of harass with the stable too, which is which is pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah, so he's going to go 2TC, we're going to go Sacreds. There's not much else to say. That is pretty much it. So we want to get our Tier 2 upgrades. Got all of them. Look at that, not making too many mistakes. This is, this is good. I'm usually a bit of a potato there, so... Let's get the Scholars coming out. Okay, so Stone... Was he, was he mining from this? Wasn't he mining from this Stone up here? No, I guess it was this one all along. Okay, he has enough for a second TC. Oh, man, if I can get there and block this, that's going to be so clutch. So he's trying to get a town center in the uh, hunt here. 
All right, so let's do this. Yeah, see, he's trying to set it up. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, well, we're going to torch that down. Let's also get a horseman up here to raid this a little bit. And just buying the time. Just buying the time. Yeah, setting up near the hunch is a pretty common tactic. Um, we should be able to get the sacreds, I would say, rel not easily, but it's going to happen. We're getting a lot of damage, actually, on this building at the moment. Blacksmith, all the usuals. You want to get the ranged upgrade, I think. Or the melee attack upgrade is pretty good, too. All right, horsemen. Let's go raid the Abbasid base. And uh, you guys can sit here. And the other one of you can sit up on this hill here. And then we can take the horsemen around the back and go do a little bit of this. Oh, hello. So we want to hit the scout, because horsemen will always kill scouts. They're faster than them, so they eventually catch them unless they're able to get back to their base. So we're, we're chasing them away, which is going to give us vision. Perfect. And how far off are we? We probably also want to go with a barracks, too. Just go. Spear, spearman um, spearman uh, horseman combo is pretty good. Although, yeah, against these guys, I suppose. I think I should be fine. All right, so we're chasing Homeboy down. We're going to go up to the base. We'll eventually get this scout. We want to take away his vision so he can't like see what kind of a sacred game we're starting to play. All right, looking good. Upgrades are coming along. Let's get you up here, buddy. Abbasid are pretty good at bunker busting your positions, though. They can, because they get the free siege engineering, so that's, that's really nice for them. Okay, let's attack in there. Looking good. And we'll get the spear upgrade here. And let's get you. All right, so we're going to jump you guys out now. One. And you go down here, buddy. Ah, oh, he's got his own horseman. Look at that. Wow, that's interesting. I have to say, I wasn't expecting him to go horseman himself. But let's uh, go ahead and see what kind of harass we can cause. We need to back up these guys now, too. So let's set that up. He's got the double horseman. So let's just push in, see if we can get a little bit of a favorable trade. Okay, he's pulling back. And what is he going? Yeah, he's, he's basically doing the same combo we are, but we have the advantage of Scholars. So hopefully that will make a little bit of a difference for us. Perfect. Let's go secure this bad boy. Did we not send one to the bottom? It looks like we didn't. Hmm. No, that's a mistake. Yeah. Supposed to have a Scholar going down here. Oh, we did. Okay. All right, good. All right, buddy. So you go jump in here. You guys jump on the sheep, please. We have a lot of wood. That's what she said. Let's get out of the supply block if we can. Great, so yeah, we're getting this. I think we'll just keep gathering up an unholy legion of horsemen. And uh, we need to kind of bounce between these two. Let's go ahead and send a villager down to the bottom. And he can just build like walls around it or something like that. Okay, let's go up here. So now this guy can just chill in this tower and you can come down here. <clears throat> All right, so far so good. We need to get a marketplace too to bounce our economy. Unfor yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That, that was pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. And uh, efficient production, let's get you guys in here. We have this one up top. Looks like there's a spearman coming here, but we, we do have our, our man there. All right, so we have all three sacred sites. He didn't decap this one, which is pretty cool. All right, so back to the tower we go. And uh, did we ever get the villagers down there? We did, but they're gonna, they're gonna decap that. So let's just come under and be extra sneaky. All right. So come horsemen, that one could be uh, repressured at any moment. Let's get a spearman. And now he's eyeing the middle one. Okay, does he want to fight here? If we could just hold a couple, the amount of gold we're going to get is going to be worth. All right, very good. So we got scholars chilling out here. Let's get you down there. Let's go secure this one. Um, I know we built a market, did we? Yeah, we buy, buy a little bit of stone. We're just going to force, if we could force like rams out of him too, that's nice because that, that'll really like kind of hinder his progress a little bit. Okay, so heading to the bottom one. Thankfully, he's not decapping the top, which is excellent. And let's get a couple spears up there. See if they can defend that. And it looks like he's flooded the scene here. So we're probably just going to go castle like elephant timing, maybe. Yeah, see, so he's already doing the rams. So what we do is we just pull the scholars back and then we, um, we grab this. And I'm pretty sure I had a scholar with this army, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, Spears, let's retreat you guys. This is fine. We can just get like a critical mass army. Okay, and let's go compound to the defender. Go Castle Age. Like, we've kind of already accomplished our goals here. 
a little bit. But he could push in with like a big army here for sure. We, we, we have to be very respectful of that. Alright, so let's do archer range and let's do a one of these. Great. Alright, so yeah, I don't think he could quite fight us. Especially since we have the dreaded uh, Delhi, uh, Delhi healers, which just do insane work. But Castle Age is here. We're going to try and get as many relics as we possibly can. Perfect. And let's do this. Make it a little bit harder for him. Uh, we don't have enough wood at the moment. Okay. Okay, jump in the tower. Boom. Jump you in the tower too. Looks like he's coming for the main base. Interesting. I wonder if, we could, like, if he could actually fight us. I feel like we would have the advantage for sure. And plus we're about to get castles, so we could just build like, you know, knights and different things like that. Looks like we're okay down here. Let's go get this. If he's just going to send that to us for free, we'll happily take that. Okay, so let's just jump you out. And then you jump here, and you, my friend, will jump into here. All right, so men at arms, crossbows, whatever. Pull back. Get the Delhi Scholars preparing. And we definitely want to pull back into the base. Yeah, because he's got a big army. So let's get back. Use the TC. If we hold this, I think we win. If we don't, if we if we don't, then you know, obviously that's going to be very very tricky. But we got a lot of villagers garrisoned up. Um, we got men at arms popping out. Hopefully they'll make a difference. We have the full TC blasting. Build more towers. Aye aye aye. Yeah, we need those men at arms. Thankfully we have the double production, so it's like the equivalent of like four barracks basically. All right, uh, jump you out. Have you run up to the middle, buddy? Let's see if we can get that in the meantime. Garrison in that tower. I think we're holding. It depends on how much eco damage we're taking in the process. All right, so we're repairing. The men at arms are coming out. Crossbows aren't super useful here, but the men at arms for sure are. All right, so let's get you back. Come on, team. Keep those men at arms pumping. All right, so we successfully defended, but at a, at a bit of a cost. Let's get you guys back. You guys come down here and then over here. So let's get you on these berry bushes. Take down the rams if we can. Unfortunately, the scholar got karate chopped there a little bit. Yeah, we need to take that out though. Great. All right, so that was okay. It wasn't amazing for sure, but we uh, we were able to survive it. Do we have any scholars? We do. So let's uh, get you and grab the relics. And you guys can head up now. We do have this middle sacred. And we should have another food source here in a minute. Compound of the Defender. Yeah, we need to get on that so we can start building keeps on sacred sites and things like that. But overall, we did hold it, which was good. All right, so Relic here. And then you, buddy, can head up to the middle. I'm expecting, like, uh, some sort of a horseman raid or something. That feels like that would be, like, a, a good play for sure. All right, so we got our men at arms. He's going to be castle here very, very quick. It's going to... It's going to certainly happen fast all right so we've got the relic in there let's go ahead and get up here and grab this and we need to get the scholars gathering here and you buddy can go grab this relic here bring it back like attacking here seems risky it seems very risky but i think we we put a little bit of pressure on him okay so let's do this Get the archer upgrades coming along. Let's move into this TC, see if we can do a little bit of disruption or something. All right, cool. So we'll try. We'll, we'll test the waters. Okay, he's raiding. Kind of had a feeling this would happen. But we're going to kill his TC here. Okay, that's actually good. So yeah, we're for sure going to get that town center. And the men-at-arms, let's get the tower. That's why we build the Tower of Doom here. Let's get a knight as well. Okay, garrison you guys up. We have the Scholar trying to get that relic. Uh, a couple bills are going down for sure. We're taking some eco. Come on, men at arms. We got the sacred site back. Let's get you up here. Yeah, we might want to build like even a second TC ourselves. Overall, the raid was pretty, pretty effective, I would say, for him. But, you know, we got one of his town centers, which is pretty good. So, yeah, they, we can't, we can't, can't complain too much. All right, so let's move in. Still grabbing all these. We've taken some of them out, which is good. Let's grab the scholars and the knights. Head up to the middle. And uh, let's get in on these uh, villagers here, if we can. At least we're forcing some idling and getting like all the sacred money. That's, that's nice for us. 
All right, perfect. So let's get to the middle. Set up some towers. He's got a decent little army. Yeah, let's not throw away this mended arm blob. Let's like try and stabilize those guys if we can. Ah, uh, forgot to get you guys out too. All right, let's do this. Set up some more of you. Farms are coming across, so let's get map control again. Let's grab the relic, take it back to the base. You buddy can garrison in there. Okay, I actually think we can win that fight. I think the men at arms will trade pretty well there. Oh, uh, you know, that's a shit ton of spears, actually. Okay, let's actually not fight that. That's that's a lot of guys. Well, let's, let's be a little bit careful. Okay, the bottom's looking cozy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it'll take a little bit of effort for him to get rid of that. Just some random ass horsemen on the map. They're just, just hanging out. Wow, he's he's going all in on the spears. Uh, we want to just pump out archers, probably. Yeah. You know he can he can have this this little spot. Let's just uh, let's just gather our forces and not lose like a stupid fight. We need to get the melee armor too. If we can. All right, so gathering our troops. Is he just doing like a feudal all in or something? I don't know. There could be some weird shit. The elephant feels like a bit of a strange choice. Okay, so I think we can win it now. Let's pull back, get you guys going, and yeah, we should be able to win that fight now. The scholars will heal through most of the DPS. Let's send that knight around. Yeah, he's trying to snipe the scholars, maybe? Alright, let's get you guys on these berry bushes here. Thankfully my opponent isn't raiding those. Oh my god, the, the spear legion, dude. Okay, let's garrison you guys up. We, we probably need some more men-at-arms. Although, yeah, with the TC shooting, we should be okay. Let's let's gather our troops back here. Plus, we're about to have a Dumbo coming out, which can kite him, so... Yeah, thankfully, he's letting us have that. Let's go see if we can jack this relic in the meantime. Oh my god, the Abbasid Spear Legion, dude! Okay, we, we held them, though, which is good. Okay, good, good. <clears throat> our eco's not amazing, but we do have the uh, relic advantage in the Sacreds. All right, so let's get you here. We have our first Dumbo coming out. Dome of Faith. Let's get you guys. Build a mosque. One, two. Back on here. Then we can fill these up for research. We're going to have to start playing the end game a little bit, actually, which is which is pretty wild. All right, let's move over here and see if we can get a little bit of work in. I mean, when he he's castle now. Okay, so homeboy's castle age. I wonder if he's going to really go for it. I wonder how hard in the paint he's going to go. Thankfully, he hasn't discovered this yet, I don't think. Alright, so gather up. <clears throat> Come on, archers. For my archers of the second age. Oh, they're not even castle age yet. Oof. That's not good. Alright, let's uh, wall this to be safe. I still think we're in okay shape. Let's, let's just gather, see what he's doing over here. Need to get out of the supply block. And we did get a fourth relic. Okay, that's pretty sweet. The fourth relic is here. I mean, what could his army possibly look like? Is he getting more stone? Alright, let's get you. Pull back a little bit. We still have two sacreds. He's letting us get, keep the sacreds for a long time. Okay, spears for days. Wow, okay. Fighting a sin at choke point is going to be a mistake. We'll for sure win that fight. But let's, uh, let's take it. Yeah, let's pull back, pull back. He does have the attack range advantage. Because of the because uh, of the phalanx, but I feel like we're winning this fight pretty well. Okay, he's got a lot of villagers up there, and also a little farming operation over here. Okay, this fight feels pretty good for us actually. Yeah, it looks like we won that pretty decisively. Although he's gonna just be zerging us with more and more stuff. Okay, we need you guys to go jump on. Uh, do we have any stone out over here? Let's go get on stone. I'd like to get a keep up or something. Oh, come on, Dumbo. Yeah, spears. I always forget the Abbasid spears have just such good range. It's pretty wild. But the archers, I mean, should trade pretty favorably here, for sure. Okay, now he's mixing in some knights. Oh, man, okay. So he literally just jumped in there with said relics. Come on, team. We just gotta hold this. It's gonna be get harder and harder to hold here, though, for sure. All right, let's garrison you guys up. Okay, come on, guys. Just keep holding them back. We got some men-at-arms coming. Now he's switching into armor, though, which is a little bit problematic. 
All right, so let's get you guys. One, so one, two, three. These damn knights are just so tough to bring down. He's he's getting quite a bit of damage in the front too. If we can get these spring towers up, then maybe we're okay. Okay, guys, come on, come on, hold for Sigmar. Or, well, I guess Ellie wouldn't be about Sigmar too much, but you know. We got some spheres coming out now. Come on, guys, give it to me, precious. Okay, so let's just keep running. We're not like fully idled at the moment, which is good. If I could slip some scholars up there too. Yeah, he's got the Rams coming though too. I think it's GG. I think it's GG for sure. We could try the Wolo Lows. We could try and get him with a fat one. Let's see if he wants to play. Oh man, is he gonna is he gonna actually fall for this? No, no, he's not. Okay, let's get you in here. Oh, the Wolo Lows! The janky Wololo plays. I love it. I think we still have one in the back pocket somewhere. Oh, unfortunately, it was the injured one right there. For the guy who was, like, trapped in the front. Yeah, it was a, it was a decent attempt, honestly. But, um, yeah, I guess maybe I need, like, a different army comp or something. GG, very well played. That guy's clearly, like, a high-level Conqueror player, but I think we were in the game. We were in it. We were in it. Yeah. What do we do differently though? More aggressive? Do we play Sacreds harder? Maybe we defend Sacreds harder. Hey, we tried to get the Wololo. We tried. It didn't It didn't quite pan out. Oh my god, we had a donation from Endemic. Thank you for the 79 and T-Rex push-ups. We need a New Zealand save where the sheeps are the battle troops. There, there you go, man. Thank you. So yeah, he was like kind of like not he was like feudal heavy. Like his spears traded so effectively with us. It was crazy. GG well played to him, dude. That was that was a really impressive Abbasid performance. Hmm. Dude, thank you guys for the donation. Sorry, I was super focused. And Seely says, hey, Taren, can't stick around. Just caught up on Warmer 3 content. Wanted to say thanks for the bids. They helped me keep alert at work. I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, man, I need to I need to wake up. I need to do it. Yeah, an early Wololo would have kept him at bay. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I honestly thought we would hold him, but he actually got Castle behind that. Like, he was on 2TC for a while, so. Koala Field. Let me see. Hey, thank you for the 20. He says, I was down in Australia when I saw a koala working on a crane. Uh, he was qualified to be working there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And Ale Allegron, thank you for the 50, man. Yeah, I did see that. Thank you guys so much. Dude, what a... Yeah, that guy played like a champ last game. I did not expect his spears to trade that well into my castle age units. I really didn't. Like he had feudal spears, like a million of them. But that's um, if you guys haven't played a Bassid, that's usually how they play. It's just very, very heavy. Um, they can spam big armies because the they save a lot of food on their villagers, so they usually just pour that into like spears or horsemen or something. Yeah, the Wololo should have a long wind up though. It'd be really stupid if they were shorter. God, man, I've just had this like damn cold for the past three days. I gotta, I gotta shake this fog. I gotta shake the fog, man. We'll get the W next time. That If we had won that game, it would have put us back into Diamond 2, or up to Diamond, I should say. We got we to gotta reclaim our Conqueror position. Yeah, how would I deal with it? With Abbasid, with HRE, I feel like I kind of know what I want to do. Just like Aggression, Fast Castle with Bur Burger Palace actually feels pretty good there. That guy was the Lord of Spears. <clears throat> Tycon says, having a rough time. I appreciate the content. Hey, man, I got you covered. I'll, I'll do my best to, to keep, you, keep you company, my friend. Yeah, so we'll, we'll play Delhi, HRE, and English are my competitive saves. Although, honestly, I've been losing with Delhi lately more than I've been winning. Had a couple good HRE games. Um, what what I'm a little bit apprehensive about picking Holy Romans now because everyone picks French. Except that guy, of course. Yeah, and I've been seeing a fair amount of Abbasid as well, which is really exciting. Um, all right, so... Yeah, looks fine. Yeah, he's got a lot of... Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of a lot of games played on that gentleman. Let's go Holy Romans. <clears throat> I don't want a mirror match though, but unfortunately I can't check what he likes. Yeah, well let's try let's try some Holy Romans. Oh my god, instant Wololo would be something. Then you lose three games, let's make an FFA. Yeah, yeah. That's the plan, dude. That's the plan. I won most of my games last night when you guys weren't watching, so I have to I have to lose them all now. This is this is the play. Third favorite type of friend, like a fry? Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. French and HRE. I mean, I man, because yeah, we I, did we go fast castle? I think we go fast castle. 
I've been getting crushed. Yeah, I've been losing my games as HRE against French, but against other civs, I've been winning. That's, that's kind of been the, the, the business. Oh, Nakamura, French is the strongest civ in the game right now. Yeah. Hands down the strongest. They get like free workers. They just have great feudal harass. They scale well into the late game. Honestly, French don't have any weaknesses. They have none. <clears throat> so that is probably why you have been struggling against them, my friend. <clears throat> Dude, this guy has a lot of games played, yeah. He does. All right, so let's go see if we can find some sheep and not like have a horrible run of it. Honestly, though, we can even go for this deer camp like very early. All right, it's good. It's good. We're finding some sheep. Keep hustling. Uh, we're wondering if you can play the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, that's what we're playing for you, man. Yeah, you said you and your friend are traveling through Germany at the moment, huh? Very cool. Well, I am playing your Holy Romans, and uh, I forgot to build a house because I'm a potato. And uh, let's get you. Great. All right, looking good. Here's his base. So back to the middle we go. You have to go up the side of the map. This is honestly one of the worst sheep runs I've had. It's been pretty rough. So I shouldn't have built the house there, actually, because that's where the Aachen's going to go. Cool. Up you go, my friend. Wow, really, really bad sheep run. We haven't, we barely had any so far. Thankfully, we have the wild hunt very close to us. So we're going to place Aachen, like, right here, I think. Hey, at least we got that one. That's nice. Let's take them back so we don't run out of food for the feudal age. <clears throat> and we'll get the prelate over there to give the Jesus to these guys. Let's bring you back. We gathered a couple sheep here. So let's just drop off the payload of sheep and then we should be okay. We can go see what he's up to. The speedy, speedy French. So foreign gold is usually what I do. And then I just go for lumber from there. So <clears throat> since Aachen's going to go here, we'll get the lumber. Uh, oh, another sheep. Okay, let's grab that. Very good. So down you go, down you go. Let's go scout that side of the map. We're not going to play as Relic Hungry here. We're going to play just kind of like a more traditional aggressive style of play. Using the um, Burger Palace, maybe. I think that could be fun. Burger Palace is a badass landmark. It's it's pretty good, actually. Like, if you're against a Civ that's really good at denying you relics on the map, I always feel like Burger Palace isn't, like, a bad idea. <clears throat> you see, man, you get food so fast as HRE, it's nuts. Maybe you should have put a fifth on gold. Let's do that. All right, down you go. Down you go. Two on Lumber should be enough if we're doing the Fast Castle build, because Burger Palace will give us everything we need. All right, down to the corner. Yes. Yeah, last game we did accidentally garrison a scholar instead of having him deposit it. But it was only with one guy, so it wasn't really a huge deal. Like, that wouldn't have won or lost us the game. I don't think. All right, so very, very close. Let's have you motivate. Got a little sloppy there on that at the end. All right, so let's drop you guys off. Do the Aachen Chapel right there. And, yeah, should be pretty good. Yeah, we actually got some sheep. We actually managed to scavenge some of the leftovers on the map. All right, so let's get you guys on here. Go there. You can go here. We only need like two on wood for this build. I mean, I've actually seen people do this build with nothing on wood, but <clears throat> against French, I feel like that's uh, just asking to get like karate chopped in the neck. Because like you, you need to be able to have some response. If they do like heavy feudal pressure, you need, you need to have something. All right, looks good. Let's build a house here. Let's see what kind of a build he's doing. We're for sure going to go Fast Castle. Um, man, do I want to go Fast Burger Castle, though? Like Burger King? Ah, it's such a fun build. It's such a fun build. HRE can get Castle Age so quick. Okay, so he's got the School of Cav coming up. No surprises. Uh, we'll just keep you parked back here. I just want to see if he's going to mine a stone. That's what we need to find out. I don't really have, feel like I have a good game plan. Though. I'm just kind of like doing whatever I feel like. Okay, so he sees my operation here. Which is okay. Let's motivate you guys. He's got his two scouts here. Very cute. Looks like he wanted to attack. We'll sit behind his base for now. Yeah, and that'll motivate our food as well. Like the sheep. Good, Anakin. Good. So let's keep you nearby. Um, we can set up... Yeah, this is going to be like a spot he wants to attack. Pretty hardcore. So let's get you here and get Friar Tuck jumping there. Pretty predictable stuff. Going to harass my eco. But let's keep you nearby. We could do a little bit of poke and stroke, but now, yeah, we're gonna get that sweet, sweet Aachen economy here. Aha! First blood is mine! Oh, he was definitely close enough to the TC there. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. I can do this all day! 
This old boomer still got a little bit of micro in him. Yeah, perfect. So everybody's being motivated pretty happily. Yeah, so far no real harass. Uh, cool. So we can't get through there. Good. And on gold you go. We're bringing back our other dude to even out these scales a little bit. Then we can fight the good fight. I would imagine he'll be here with some knights soon. If we get enough gold right now, we can go burger. Palace? Yeah, he's like... He's having a lot of fun. This guy, he's just, he's getting his jollies off. But the French knight will be here soon. Um, so I'm thinking we've just built an outpost. Okay, so now we can actually just chase him and trade, probably. We just need a little bit more wood so we can get that outpost up, and then we should be not impervious to harass, but pretty good against it. All right, so tower's coming up. Uh-oh, the sweaty fighting. Yeah, I knew the knight was going to be here soon. Oh, the timing is close. Let's intercept with our scouts if we can. Okay. Perfect. All right. So that should thwart that. Hey, even lost a scout. Isn't that nice? So we're going fast burger palace. This is kind of risky because we're not building like anything. This is like turbo greedy. We're very close. Man, if we didn't build that outpost, this could have been pretty bad. All right. So let's get you up. Let's get you. So house, please. <clears throat> we have enough there. Very, in Burger Palace, we can pump out spears, whatever. Okay, so attack him with the scouts. You guys stay on here. I wonder if he's going to come with feudal aggression. That is the question. Okay, so the knight wants it. He wants it bad. I can see, I can see him eyeing me like a piece of meat here. Thankfully, we're paying attention. Just let the scouts absorb some of the damage. And let's go ahead and get the Burger Palace. Let's take him the Burger King, baby. Let's give him some, some good old American fast food. The good quality stuff. So he's got two knights now. That's, see, this is where it gets a little bit problematic. But with Burgrave coming out, we should be okay. Okay, in you go, my friends. Yep, you're going to the TC, which is fine. We should be able to pump out spears after this, like, pretty quick. The Burger Palace. Okay, he's just going to lose a knight for some reason. I'm down. I'm down for that. Cool. And let's get a barracks. Or, excuse me, a blacksmith. We're going to want some marching orders and all those goodies. Let's make another prelate so we can try and grab some relics nearby. And then we're just going to be spamming, like, a million men-at-arms out at him. I don't know why I have so many on wood. That's very sloppy. Yeah, but this has been a uh, very, very good defense so far. We've taken very little damage. Let's go ahead and block the back of the base. We'll put a relic in here. We're still going to be getting relics. Like, just because you're going Burger Palace doesn't mean you're going, you know. All right, so let's get some men at arms. <laughs> Squires! You guys jump on gold. I should have a better gold bank. That's the only kind of crappy part here. All right, so let's go grab some relics. Um, we need to just get a ton of gold, like hardcore. And prelate's coming out. Um, do we want to get another prelate? Alright, so let's move out. We should be able to just get this one here, at least. This is, like, pretty free. Although, if he's truly a dreadlord, he's just going to be camping that. Alright, so more spears, please. We got a lot there. Uh, did that probably not make it by, by the gatehouse? Oh, he didn't. That's so annoying. Yeah, oh my god. I did it to myself, though. No. Oh my god. So many sloppy plays right now. Come on. So he's got actually a pretty big military, so we, we just chill out here. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very good. Let's get you guys, some of you guys on wood. And we'll just keep pumping out and getting upgrades on the appropriate units. I know Floppy Hats have been making a bit of a comeback here, but I think just Meta Darm Spear is going to be a pretty good combo for us. Uh, we'll get this. All right, so where is that Prelate? I know the other one's in the Aachen Chapel here somewhere. All right, so we can head over and escort him as he grabs this one. 
Where the heck did that prelate go? I could have had I could have sworn I had one. Oh, he stopped here. Okay. Down you go, bring it back. Uh can we win this fight? Hmm. We we could probably win it, but I don't know if it's worth it with the attrition. So we need to get the mace upgrades for the bonus for his heavy. Okay, let's pull back. Here, here, and here. Mace upgrade should finish soon, and now we can fight it. And Prelate, you go to the corner of the map. Yeah, nice micro. Nice micro for sure. We're going to catch some of them, though. Mm, I don't know if the Mace Boys can actually win this. We might not have enough. Yeah, maybe we need more Burger, burger Boys. How's our food looking? A little bit sparse. Let's get in the tower here. Okay, so let's get some armor upgrades if we can. Back you go. Do this. Oh man, yeah. I think uh, he's he's going pretty heavy on this though. I think we'll be okay. If we could just secure some of these damn relics. So this and this. You, my friend, can grab this one and then back up here and down here. Our food is definitely subpar, though. We're going to have to just get farms around the Aachen. And then we uh, can make more prelates here in a minute. You know, I actually don't hate this burger play, even though it's not, not, not working out super well. It's like, it's kind of kept us uh, a little bit honest here. Or kept him a little bit honest, is what I meant to say. All right, so you drop it off here. And we have you as well, so that can come here, and we can set up a tower back here for the relic, which will also defend us. Yeah, he's got a lot. We don't quite have enough to go too crazy with the Burger Palace. Over to the woods you go. And once the prelate drops us off, we'll uh, we'll be able to maybe push out and get more. We'll have to see. But two so far isn't bad. He's still feudal, and I think he's on one TC. Yeah, I think just Men-at-Arms is better than the alternative here. Yeah, so we got the melee armor, which is going to be useful. We'll drop this off here. Keep getting Men-at-Arms. Our Eco's okay. We have the Berry Bushes of Doom. Let's get a house. And let's push out. Let's get our boys going. All right, so we dropped that. Let's go get in here. And uh, in the meantime, you guys go jump on the Berry Bushes here. Make some more men at arms. We gotta go before he gets castle though, because if he gets castle age, he's just gonna, he's really gonna cause us a lot of problems. Oh, hello. Is he really gonna attack me? Interesting. I feel like we can hold this relatively well. And you, buddy, drop this in the tower if you can. And then garrison yourself in there. So a little bit of a cab raid. Okay, interesting. We should be able to fight this pretty well. I think the men at arms will do the trick. We should probably get marching drills soon too. All right, some of you guys coming down here to defend. Knights are taking a beating. And marching drills. Yes. Okay, so we should be able to hunt those guys. Uh, get you guys back on gold. And you guys back out here. And then you guys can jump on here as well. So we do have the, the relics. We've gotten the two. We need to jump this Friar Tuck out if we can. So let's take him and see if we can grab more on the map, if, the, if possible. Yeah, these annoying knights are going to be a pain. We need to start like walling off our base so we can take a little bit more control over the map. And let's push out there and see if we can grab this. Get the armor upgrades. Keep a couple mace boys here. Yeah, that's right. The attack move works differently now. Yeah, have to take that into account. All right, so farms. Let's get that, that HRE economy going. Perfect. You guys have done this. Let's uh, get you up here. All right, so that, that's going to give us some good battlefield control. He must be on two TCs, though. I'd be shocked if he wasn't. But let's get a third relic here. No, he's still in the second age. You know, that actually was a pretty big army of knights, so maybe that actually was like his, his, whole, ban his whole jam there. Okay, let's set you up here. Take the relic back to the Holy Land. And uh, then we can even try and get some like middle map control or something. 
Do we want floppy hats? I don't think they serve any purpose, really. We'll get some spears. All right, lady, build a gatehouse. Let's get the wood drop off, please. Okay, so we've gotten three relics against our, our good pal here. Wait, didn't we have a relic in this tower? I, th I could have sworn we had a relic in this tower. Didn't we have one? I sworn we did. Oh, well, anyways. We'll have to come across that later if we can. All right, so let's move to his base. Start to get a little pressure on this bad boy. Pull you up here. Grab the sacred site. Uh, we're pretty walled off, so we got the walls off. So I have one relic here. I have one back here. And do I have somebody gear? Oh, he probably has one. Yeah, okay. Good thing I was paying attention. Okay, so he just got Castle Age, so... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty funny, man. Let's get the farming upgrades and the wheelbarrow, all that sort of good stuff. We can start gathering a little bit of stone now, too. Uh, we need to get a trading post also. Yeah, see, the problem is now he's going to get a lot of crossbows. Okay, so we'll get this. The dreaded wolf is on the side of our opponents here. Let's get the mace upgrades. You guys keep going here. We have a lot of food, but let's get you guys to do this. And then you up here. All right, over here you go. You guys have slain those berry bushes. Let's get this and this. And I would like to get some workers on here if we could. Yeah, I feel like we got three or four relics. I don't think he went 2TC. I could be wrong. That would be unfortunate if we were wrong about that. You see a big army coming here. Uh, veteran Royal Knights. Okay, so they are upgraded. Let's get our spears to the next age. It's fine. We just have a wild bill here. And the spear upgrade's coming along good. Let's get the melee upgrades. And uh, yeah, very, very scrappy game so far. Let's hide you in the trees, actually, so it's not quite as obvious. Yeah, that's a that's a big army. That's a big old army, for sure. So we need to make sure that we got all the goodies prepared for that. It's going to be up here. You guys can pull in. Usually French armies will trade very well against you. So we, we need to run you back to the base. Okay, so there's still two relics. I don't know about getting those. It's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tricksy. Let's just keep getting the mace boys, wait for some upgrades, get the uh, ranged upgrade, and then we can move out. What does this army look like? So his archers are actually still just potato age archers. Man, I'm getting supply blocked so much this game, it's so bad. All right, let's take the boys. Yep, you get back on the trees. We'll get a supply block in a second once we get a wood turn in here. Come on, give it to us, baby. Do we push the middle is the question. I think we could. Man, but French Knights are just such linebackers, dude. One, uh, two, and three. Could even go Imperial Age. It's very much on the table. Let's get the double broad axe. We can mix in some floppy hats too, some floppy hat boys. I feel like that's going to be pretty sweet. And we'll pull you over. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. And just like this. Great. So we'll have you chill out in the meantime. It's pretty cool, like, how much work you can get done with just the Burger Palace. You know, it's pretty pretty radical, man. So upgrades are coming along. Good, good. We have the Relic Advantage, so that's nice. Um, what else do we want to get? We probably should start mixing in some crossbows soon, too, if we can. Because army's very one-dimensional. All right, let's push out. Let's do it. Where's that vill? I could, didn't I, did I not send a villager over there? Okay, well... There he is. Floppy Hats of Doom, waiting for the upgrade. The upgrade just finished. You see, now he's got Arbalists. A little bit scary, but like we got a we got a big old army, so. Okay, crossbow ranges. Spearmen. He's trying to get a keep set up. We should probably fight right now. We don't want to let him just get a keep here. Yeah, but man, we just have like a, such a simplistic army. Alright, let's fight it. See how this goes. Uh, we're getting a good grind. He's losing knights. It's going to take him a minute to get that keep set up, for sure. Seems to be going okay. Archers won't do too much damage against the men-at-arms. Yeah, some of these guys are kind of circling around here. How are the mace men doing? Pull these guys back. It's a weird angle. Yeah, we're both taking pretty big casualties, but he's about to get that keep up, so we, we, we don't want any of that. So we're just going to pull back and get the, um, 
and get the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The Imperial Age. Like, he can't, like, just break into our base and give us the dirty. But we need, oh man, our gold is, our gold situation is actually really bad. It's actually really shitty. Alright, so, do we literally just have no other golds whatsoever? Oh my god, that's so bad. So, Siege Workshops, we'll get you. Then you guys are just gonna have to hustle up here and then down here. Which is just like, just a brutal, brutal situation to be in. Let's get some crossbows. Uh, Friar Chuck can go up there, here, and then here with them. We're gonna get this. We're waiting for the gates to finish there before we push in. Yeah, but see, he's now he's now got the Siege Workshops. Hmm. We never did get some stone either. All right, so crossbows are on the way out. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough hold. Let's get our uh, our big boys. Let's get more upgrades, please. Crossbows. We should be able to secure our gold position. I'm not too worried about that. And uh, do we have any stone outcroppings nearby? We do. Great. So crossbows, siege equipment. Hopefully we can get the siege jump on him so we're a little bit, you know, ahead of him in that regard. Uh, let's get the mace men. We seem okay here. As long as he doesn't see us on this gold here, I think we're okay. We do have that, that Aachen. No, we don't have it at the moment. We need to get the uh, Friar Chuck or Prelate. Really over -cute on bills as usual. Alright, so let's get you up. Start hammering this. You guys jump in here. Get on wood. Crossbows and uh, men at arms. I wonder what he's going to target. We, we do have the emergency repairs, which is kind of funny. So we can, we can actually do the fat repairs on those. Alright, so now that this is walled, let's grab the sacred site. What is he attacking? I don't really know, to be honest. Crossbows. Houses, please. One, two, three. And, uh, yeah, we don't have enough stone to really do too much yet, but we'll get there. Yep, at least we're getting the sacreds, which is pretty cool. We'll maybe secure that other one, too. Oh, he was going for the gate. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, his keep is getting hammered as well. And he's got mostly archers with some arbalists mixed in, so that's a little bit problematic. Let's build a mango. Emergency repairs. Stand to the ready. Yeah, our armies are pretty comparable. I think his might be a little bit better because it's just more dynamic army comp. But now, yeah, you can see we're grinding through his knights pretty hard. Okay, let's pull you guys back. We need to get that mangonel up. And you can come in and get this piece. Okay, pull you back. Let's see if we can repair this. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Cav just like dunk on those now. Yeah, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, the French army comps are very good against us here. Like, you can see he's out trading us pretty hard. Like, the knights and the archers just... There's... I, I feel like there's not a whole lot we're doing correctly. Uh, let's pull him a little bit closer to the TC. Okay, gather up here. We have the mango now, so hopefully the mango will help uh, get the job done. Here we go. Nice. The big damage. Very good. Okay, we're actually mounting a decent defense here. Now that we have a mango out, that's that's quite good. But he still has that big ranged advantage, you know, which is which is a tricksy hobbit for sure. Uh huh. So let's set you up like so. We can't. Mango. These damn villagers are just so bloodthirsty. I don't know why they keep wanting to get into combat here. Another mango should pop out in a moment. It's going to give us a little bit of fighting power. Let's get you down here. And very good. Crossbows at the ready. Do this and this. The only problem with this is it kind of exposes our gold position if he's paying attention. Come on, Treb. He's got that nice keep out in front of us, man. It's just so rough. Let's make floppy hats. Okay, he's pulling back. He's thinking about moving in with the knights. Aye, aye, aye. All right, this is, this is sketchy. We have that relic just sitting there. Friar Tuck should go grab that, and then we should uh, get a keep the tower here to put it in. See, he just like just discovered we were back here now. So what's gonna happen is like a unholy legion of knights is just gonna emerge. We need to hit that keep. 
Okay, so let's get you guys. One, two, three, four, five. Rebuilding the artillery position. And you guys build a... Uh, we could build a, actually a keep over here. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Ah, it's going to be tricky. Yeah, so they're coming for me. Aish. Hopefully he doesn't notice that being built there. We can move up, try and get like a little cheeky bombardment on those guys. Okay, he hasn't noticed the keep back here yet. If he doesn't notice that, then there's maybe a chance. Yeah, we're probably dead because of that. Let's see if we can get at least a good fight out of this situation. Okay, let's do this and this. Let's get on all the archers. It looks like one of them's going down here. Yeah, losing those vills there is going to hurt pretty bad. But we did get a favorable fight out in front of his base, actually, which is nice, but... I don't think that's going to be enough. We literally just lost, like, a shit ton of villagers and also our gold income. Yeah, that's a rough one, guys. It's a rough one. See, now he's switching to horsemen to probably try and dive us here. Yeah, at le hey, at least we have the sacred site, right? Yeah, we got that going for us. All right. So those knights are coming back. Probably going to torch that down. Yeah, the, we got a pretty shitty gold spawn, yeah, for sure. But it's also our fault. We, we like, let him get aggressive like that. We didn't, like, really have any tools for punishing it. <clears throat> Let's go see if we can creep around there and get that. Yeah, so we need to cancel all these. I should have secured that with stone walls before I tried to uh, try to do more. Okay, let's drop that in there. Matter of fact, we can actually get this in the keep here. There we go. And you guys can uh, set up a little anti-raiding situation here. Yeah, he's just got so much more uh, map than me. It's going to be really tough. Maybe we can get gold back online and Helm's Deep it if he like really screws up somehow. It would take some pretty colossal misplays for him to lose this game though. He's not playing super good tonight, guys. Yeah, shaking off the rest. Shaking off the rest. It's all good. Okay, so he's massing horsemen now. He has taken the sacred site. Let's get you guys back. Let's get the burning oil. We're setting up farms. Pretty much all we can do, man. Did we ever get that, that trade post? No, we didn't. Well, we have emergency repairs too here, so. Okay, here he comes. He's gonna dive my artillery, which is smart, just with shitty horsemen. Not much I can do about that. But we do have to keep, so. Emergency repairs is gonna make it uh, really, really tough to stop. Whoa, did he wall that off? Oh my god, he might have walled that off. Ouch, that's not good. Okay, so we've stopped the horseman raid, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of nights, GG. We're, we're, we're dead in the water. <clears throat> Our gold situation was, uh, was rough. When we didn't get... We shouldn't have shown our hand. We were actually still in the game when we had this side. If we just built stone walls here and here and just like got the sacred, then we could just turtle and get there. Uh, well, what... Yeah, I think we're, we're like diamond or plat... We're like... That guy was conqueror for conqueror uh, last season. So was I, but uh, he obviously played much better. French versus HRE is a is a tricky matchup. It's a tricky one. He's a good player, but yeah, we we could have played we could have played so much stronger. I bet you he was conqueror last season. He was like high diamond now, so I would imagine conquer. Trading in the back, it wouldn't have worked that well. He had, he had too much map control. His knights could have just gotten back there and buttered my bread. <clears throat> GG, well played to him, man. He played a good game. Got to get this rust off, man. Drink some coffee. Let's get fired up. Looks like I have to go back to just playing England. Yeah, that one that one keep was really unfortunate though, because it was like right up on my gold. So I just I just couldn't. Yeah, trade takes a long time. Trade is usually um, like a later later game situation. Yeah. The Rohirrim. Yeah, when the Rohirrim rode in, I was like, okay, let's let's stop let's stop messing around now. So we'll play some England, I think. Yeah, we'll play some England. That'll be fun. Yeah, French is the worst match for HRE. It's really bad. We were actually in good shape until we, uh, until we, uh, he got, once they get Castle Age is when it gets really bad. Because the problem is they get, yeah, we're going to do an FFA to close the stream. They get these really good um, crossbows that have like eight melee armor. So your mended arms, like none of your melee trades well. Regnets, Regnets might have actually been better there now that I think about it. <laughs> the Spears are ready for a Bronze Odia FFA, says Masso. I love it. No, not a beer. I'm having a, like a cold brew coffee right now. <clears throat> My voice is slowly coming back. Yet, like two, yesterday, I could barely whisper. I was like, Anakin, 
I'm too weak. I really wanted to stream, but I just could barely talk. So it was like, man. Needed an earlier investment in stone? Yeah, you're probably right, Blake. Could have been useful. That's kind of why I don't like playing HRE. I feel like I just lose the French every time. Obviously, you can still overcome it if you, you know you play better, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see what we can find. Are we not queued right now? What the hell is this? There we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. It's time for the English. Let's make him eat some bangers and mash. Yeah, the dreaded Spear Lord is in chat. That's right. Third time's a charm. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we're like, as far as my skill level goes, I'm like a low conqueror player. That's that's my home. That's where I belong. But like, usually if I'm playing people who are a conqueror two or three, like it's going to be bad. I'm talking last season. Now, like the thing is right now, people are always like replacing and everything. And uh, so like nobody's truly like in their right spot yet. So it's a little wild, but last season that was my place. I like last night I... I won two games last night, and then I lost one. And the, the one that I lost to was against this, this Dreadlord who was, like, a Conqueror 3 already. Dude, he put me in the trash can so hard. He reminded me of my age. I was like, oh, my God. I didn't actually watch the Kenobi series. You know, honestly, guys, I haven't been watching... Um, I haven't been watching too much TV stuff. The only thing that the wife and I have been watching is The Boys. That show is so damn good. Oh, my God. Carl Urban is one of our favorite actors of all time, too. He's the guy who plays Billy Butcher. Dude, he's in like everything. He played Judge Dredd. He was in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he's just, he's a national treasure, man. I'm glad that he finally got like a big centerpiece in his career like this, you know? Yeah, Carl Urban's the man. But yeah, I haven't been watching too many shows. I just bought, I just rebought the uh, Dune books. So the Dune trilogy by, and uh, I've been rereading those. The last time I read them, I was in like, man, I was, I was in the, in the Little Leagues. Yeah, I heard the Kenobi series got... I heard pretty mixed reviews about it. I heard good things and bad things. I, a lot of people said that, like, the overarching story wasn't, like, amazing, but the fact that it had some really cool Darth Vader and Obi-Wan scenes kind of made up for it. But, you know, honestly, guys, I'm really easy to please. Like, it has to be pretty terrible for me to really not like it. So, all right, let's just go to... The, we need to get a win. So we're just going to play my best Civ. The Civ that I climb with is England. If I really want to win, I play England. I got wrecked in my play-in games tonight and play Silver League. Hey, it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. Being a brand... Dude, Silver League isn't bad at all. Dude, I placed... I was Conqueror last season, okay? And so was my opponent here. And um, I placed in like... What? Yeah, I placed in like Gold League and I was Conqueror last season. So if you just have a couple bad games, don't stress it. Yeah, Anthony Starr is really good in that show, yeah. <clears throat> hey, don't worry about it, Ryan. Don't worry. I've been listening to Warhammer 40k audiobooks. Yeah, yeah. 40k universe is fun. Like even if... Oh my god. And we get an English mirror match. Why? Why this? Oh, that's so annoying. I'm just trying to escape mirror matches. I get them enough in Total War. Alright, well, you know what? We don't even like need to worry about the second scout here. Because with England, it's... Do we want to like get aggressive in the Feudal Age with this gen? Could be a thing. Could be a thing indeed. All right, let's drop you off. Let's do this. Set you here. And perfect. So we're going to go for like an English um, Farmville build. It's kind of greedy, but I think it'll work out. Pints for the pint god. Yeah, I know. I know, Wicked. That's what's going down here, man. <clears throat> like I said, we switch on to farm economy pretty quick, so... Why are we here just to suffer? I know, I agree. Why is this? Why is this happening to us? So we usually go four on Lumber for the farm bill, and then we switch to Gold after that. And that allows us to set up farms. It's a good thing we didn't... Man, we're getting like no sheep whatsoever. Be aggressive. I'm thinking about being aggressive, but my opening isn't really an aggressive opening so far. So at this point, it'd be a little bit of a tricksy hobbit to switch. Ah, he just rides by with all the sheep. Hey, but you know, on the bright side of things, at least we probably have a villager lead on him. Okay, our gold is pretty exposed back there. Yeah, tower rushing is still very strong. I've actually been watching a fair amount of Roost games where people tower rush with Roost, and I'm like, oh my god, that looks really good. That looks very powerful indeed, but I'm curious what he's going to be doing. We can actually tell by just scouting him. 
seeing if he's going for early farms. <clears throat> early farms almost always means not, you're not going to be getting that aggressive, so. Yeah, no, no, that's not necessarily true, I guess. Well, let's just go look up here, drop off these other sheep, and then we'll we'll be chilling from there. Um, so we'll set it up like this. Hey, we got another sheep. Sweet Christmas. So we got a couple on gold. Should be fine. Yaru. Come down here. We got a one villager lead. Yeah, this game's... He's, he's in some serious danger, guys. He's in some serious danger. The old man's got a slight advantage in some regard. Uh, let's get you on golds. Yes, please. Three on gold should be enough for this build. I almost want to go Abbey of Memes against him. That feels like it could be kind of funny. <clears throat> so now every villager we pump out over here is going to set up a farm. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go see what he's doing with his build. I'm your worker. All right, so the lumber is pouring. And the one thing that's good about the lumber surplus is that if we do want to get aggressive and futile, it shouldn't be too hard. We, sh we could pump out a bunch of longbows and, you know, different things like that. Well, the early... The early wheelbarrow always calls to me too. How many of you guys are early wheelbarrow enjoyers? I sure am. You have to be really careful when scouting for English bases because if you run too close, yeah, okay. He's he's not he's not getting aggressive. He's doing just what I'm doing. <clears throat> Probably gonna go fast castle. Okay, let's come over here. Perfect. So, pretty close to getting there. We got the farm set up. Hey, free sheep in the back of the base. Nice. <laughs> you guys think I don't have a, a salty bone in my body, huh? Well, that's actually... Mm, if the game lags, it makes me salty. Yeah, that's like the one thing that will like enrage me. Wow, he did not grab the sheep by his base. If this was a different matchup, that would actually matter. But um, you know, in this case, it does not really. Wow, more sheep. Okay, I'll take it. Very, very close to the check. Um, I almost want to go horseman. Like horseman archer pressure or something? Feels like it could be kind of good. No. Do we want to get aggressive? The the, the ideas I'm having right now, the, the mad machinations. Okay, so he's running a little bit close. We got you, so let's grab you guys and then build the council hall over here. Let's take the sheep back. He's for sure going farm bill, so. Although let's see if we can confirm his timing before we leave. Okay, let's come back here. Looking good. Do we want to go like men at arm? Men at arm pressure with now nah, <clears throat> horsemen are just better. Interesting. Look at this. Okay, so we can shoot this guy a little bit. Scout the back of the base. I I think the aggression is going to be good. I think we do that. I mean, we can't quite get the stable yet. Okay, what, what is his timing though? I can't quite see the landmark. Where is he building it? Is he building the Abbey of Memes? Is that what's going down here? Okay, not seeing it. Not seeing his old landmark. This guy's having too much fun. Okay, let's take this back. Salvage our workers if we can. About to get there. I think we, you know what? I think I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive this game. I think it's gonna happen. So we'll get the wheelbarrow just for the eco. Farm, we're gonna have to set up another mill for that one. We're gonna go horsemen. The horsemen of the English apocalypse are coming. I, I, I still, like he must, he must have like hit that landmark somewhere, yeah. All right, so down you go. Let's take you over to lumber. Cheap and outstanding. Let's go ahead and get a stable. Let's get some Strelbora. Outstanding. Let's go see what he's up to. So we did age faster than him, which is kind of curious. So he sees the first longbow. So he's going to probably assume some aggression is coming. And he's going to be mostly right. Unfortunately, like his gold is in the back of the base, which is a very safe spot. So he's, he's going to be kind of cozy. But he's still just age one, so... See if we can punish the greed a little bit. We're going to bring some archers to set up, and we're going to go, like, deny his gold so we can't tech. That's the game plan. 
All right, so keep going, team. He's feudal, so he's going to start pumping out units now. No surprises. Should probably get a blacksmith. Oh, wow, he set up a tower here? Interesting. That is a curious position for a tower. You could also just torch that down. Um, it's going to take a while, though, so let's just, just keep moving everyone past it. Okay, our food should be fine. We got wheelbarrow and farms, which is the great part about playing England. Oh, he's going in expansion. Interesting. Okay, that's nice for us. Where are our horsemen at? Wow, is he really pulling all his bills? What the hell is this shit? What the hell is this? Okay, he's idling a shitload of stuff right now. So this is like actually good that he's chasing us. Let the scouts eat some of the shots. Okay, we're just going to get free bills. And now he's coming with this. Okay, just keep hustling down this way. Good, good. And uh, let's set you up here. The reinforcements muster. Um, this is going to deny quite a bit from him. If we can get this tower up, I think we're in a very, very good position. If he denies it, though, then I think he might be okay, but we'll have to see. Okay, let's hit these workers. I'm your worker. All right, let's see if we can get a bill. Nice. Oh, okay, so he's heading off my reinforcements, which is fine. We'll just gather them right here. Okay, so we've successfully gotten a tower set up here. So this is going to be very tough for him to remove now. And we can, uh, we can just start poking here. All right, looks good. Yeah, we're getting bills. Forcing him off lumber. Let's garrison you in the tower. Let's gather up the rest of the troops. Okay, stop that. Let's go, team. Okay, so we can maybe set that up there too. Let's go see if we can. It's a little bit of an ambitious spot. Okay, see if we can pick off these guys. Free units. I'll take it. So he's not mining gold now, which we know. Unfortunately, our pathing is like really awkward. We're going to set up like a million farms in the meantime, too. Yeah, we need to get to our tower. The fact that he separated us from the tower is not good. Okay, great. So now we can get back under by the tower here. Let's do this. Set you guys up. And we can just kind of try and creep a tower right here. Okay. This, yeah, if we can hammer these villagers while they get that tower, that's going to be so good. Okay, let's get you. Get in the tower, just keep running. So now that we've like distracted him a little bit, I think we can eco at home. Yeah, he's lo just losing stuff. We're gonna get another tower up north too. And uh, he's probably gonna counter harass. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll keep some troops at home, just keep harassing his farms. And uh, do this, looks good. We were never all in here. We were never all in. Oh, yeah, so his farms are idling now, so I would wager there's going to be aggression here on his part, like some sort of a counter push. Although if he does leave, then I can really do quite a bit. All right, so let's get the bills down here. We have good defense at home. Jump on those berry bushes. You set up a tower here. Let's go get into that lumber. He's got to get aggressive, right? That, that's got to be his only play. Yeah, can't quite reach his TC. Let's see if we can get those guys. The aggression has been good, though, I would say. Where is his army? Okay, he's mining gold in the front right now. For sure. Okay, so let's move more houses, please. So maybe we do gather our Dread Legion out front and we try and fight him. 
We, yeah, his the fact that his a lot of his stuff is idled is good. Yep, kind of saw that coming. So now we go deny his gold out front, and we do have a pretty good army here. Actually, we could probably go stop him. Okay, he's taking casualties. Yep, we see stone workers here. Oh, nice, nice. Big damage going down. And where's our troops at? Okay, they're up here. Let's get the range upgrade. He could maybe try and clear the back towers. These guys have just slain this resource. Okay. So let's gather up our, our entire army together and see if we can, like, catch him out and open. We have so much food at the moment. Oh, man. Our, we need to just jump on the gold. We have found we have found him, my lord. He lurks in the brush. We can get a big surround in a second, potentially. Mm, we do have an upgrade coming. We need to get a little bit closer before we fight. All right, so let's get the troops in. We should be okay here. And those longbows get in position. We have a surround. Ah, the snare. Man, that lasts a long time. Okay, so we traded somewhat evenly there. Uh, we stole these nice towers in the back of his base. We can go castle here in a minute. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and get you guys. Do this. And of course, as usual, I am just food blocks, King's Palace. I would say that went, like, feudal went a little bit better for us. Okay, so let's just get more guys, get those upgrades coming along. We'll get you guys up here and just have you guys mine some stone or something. And we could eventually get those into, like, arrow slits, I think. And now we're just going to go, like, classic English army comp. All right, very good. Our farm economy is, is popping. It's doing doing okay. Could be better. And once you guys finish this, you come down here. Let's go see what he's up to. Let's go see what's going on. We do have a blacksmith. Yeah, we do. We idled his base for a long time, and he's also mined a lot of stone, which I don't think is going to be super useful for him. Let's get the lumber upgrades. Very important for England. Get into the trees. If we can force him off this gold, he's going to really be hurting. More TCs, huh? All right, interesting. And boom. So we've gotten to the next age. We now just focus on bunker busting that, that front spot. Let's get the longbows upgraded to the next age. That's going to be very nice. And just get a bunch of farms. We're playing England, so we don't care about relics that much. We do want to get that upgraded to a stone tower, though. 100%. And come on, boys. Keep it up. He must have vision here. He must know we're here. Yeah, he does. The boy is watching. Now he's switching to horsemen, which is smart. But we have the, the Castle Age men at arms, or the Castle Age archers, I should say. So that's quite nice. Hmm, against the, his army comp, though, actually, you know, knights would be better. Yeah, so we're just going to go archer knight. And let's get you upgraded, and you upgraded. Yeah, we, we should have a pretty solid advantage now. All right, we need one more in the farms. Can't We can't lose our English mirror match. Let's get the ranged armor upgrade. Just getting towers back here. See, like all those farms he built are basically just wasted, which is really nice. I think the knight combo should be pretty good. And um, yeah, let's also get a monastery, start grabbing relics. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have free gold, right? It doesn't hurt. He built multiple TCs. Okay, let's set up towers. Start taking a little bit of map control. Let's grab you guys. Come down to the middle with us. Okay, and then we should have some knights as well. Perfect. I'm your worker. We got the... Okay, he's building rams. That's actually a really good sign for us. 
Because it's not like, oh, hello. It's not like a a great, you know, use of your money, usually. Oh my god, what's going on here? Go back to your, your lumber, please. Okay, so he's ramming that down. It's allowing us to get some map control. Oh, he's going after my poor bills. If we can get this tower up, that's going to feel mighty nice. I could have sworn I had some knights already. Did I lose them somehow? And here they come. Get you. Set up another tower here. Just get map control here. This little stone node over here is really nice. And what is he building? Yeah, he's building more units, which is which is good for us. Um, seems okay. Ah. And now he's going to ram back here too. All right, very good. So we probably want to get some workers on the stone. I'm your worker. And uh, we'll get aggressive here in a second. Securing the relics is going to feel quite good, though, for sure. Okay, so we got four knights. I think we can push him off his gold now. But he can always retreat back to his base. Yep, and yep. All right, let's move up. He does have a couple spears. But we do have our little attack speed towers here. So let's shoot you guys, you guys, you guys, you, you, and you, and you. Okay, yeah, just picking off Spearman. Pretty favorable trading for us, I'd say. Yep, just keep picking off Spearman, please. Might lose a knight here. Oh, no, he's going to let us keep it. Very good. So we're going to keep taking map control where we can. Let's go ahead and set up more farms. And then we can just go Imperial English. We'll show him who's the, the haggard old man late game player. That's going to be us. All right. So everything's going to code. Yeah, we got towers coming up all over the map. We're for sure going to want to get some... Uh, Hmm. Let's send you, you knights over here. We'll go do a little bit of raiding right now. And now we can switch to men at arms and just... Yeah, that should be enough to karate chop him. Go forth, my minions. I don't know how so many workers got pulled there, but let's not ask any questions. All right, over on stone you go. Knights are going to come around. He's thinking about pushing middle, for sure. Uh-huh. Looks good. Did we get that relic back? We did. Let's get this. Head back to the base. Got a little dual prong terrace on the other side. Giving them the old razzle dazzle. And of course, being uh, English, I'm always just overproducing bills on everything. Okay, let's get back here. See what we can do. He's going to want to push up, maybe. Hmm. Not going to go well for you there, bud. All right. Attack. And around here, he got knights in his line, so that's going to affect his eco pretty hard. And hey, look at that freebie! Yeah, he's he's taking a little bit, but we did lose our knights there. Sloppy. Let's just pressure the sides, keep him busy. Um, Friar Chuck, you can go there. Perfect. We're gonna get you eventually. The Waz here. Man, he's still in age two. If I was a little bit more on top of the gold thing, we could probably be imp right now. All right, so I think we just get like a men at arm death blob and, and, and we just, just give him the dirty. All right, you guys, let's set up an English keep right in his face. All right, so we need to get this out. This is going to be pretty big for us. I think this is going to occupy his attention back here for a little bit longer. So if we can somehow manage to get this keep up, that's going to be super strong. All right, so the keep is coming up. We just need to buy a little bit of time. Knight's back there, still trying to get in. This keep is for sure going to finish, I think. All right, run the knights away. Hopefully they were enough of a distraction. Uh, let's go ahead and get the battle clad upgrade. 
All right, so that's pretty bad for him. That keep is up now. Uh, we could just work this lumber out here. And then we set up Windguard Palace behind this and we just cackle. I think is what we do. You jump on this buddy and you can come and grab this relic. Knights, we see a battering ram. That needs to go. How are the upgrades coming along? Good, good. Towers, come across. Let's set up a tower over here. Network of castles. Okay, he just got Castle Age. So now, you know, he's got some tricks up his sleeve now. And these damn wood villagers. I need to get some houses. Should have scouted the map a little better. There's like so many relics, I just have no idea where they are. And uh, let's get longbows. Rams getting beat down here. Boom and boom. So we'll continue getting vision where we can. Let's get into the farms a little bit. Yes, give me the eco damage. A lot of spearmen. His army comp should just get flattened by us, I think. I mean, having this keep with the network of citadels is just going to be super good. Oh, uh, this map is Lippany. Yeah, this is Lippany. Battleclad upgrade. Need to get there. We got farms galore. One, and then you guys do this. Good. How are we doing on the relic drop off? All right, so let's uh, let's bump and grind. All right, so we'll do a little bit of like a dual push here. This guy is getting munched on by the wolf. But the, uh, yeah, unfortunately the battle cloud upgrade isn't ready yet. But when that finishes, it's going to be incredibly tough for him to do anything. Let's get a treb. Like a single treb pressuring here is going to be really strong. Okay, that's way too many on that resource. He's eyeing me. He wants he wants to keep me, uh, keep me at bay here, but... These knights will get through eventually. Get to keep up here. And you guys build some houses. Okay, pull back. Attack in. Pull a couple men at arms to go this way. It's always good to do like little weird split pushes like that. If you can. But I'm pretty sure we just got him in the bag here. He's been behind for a long time. We have like all these weird contains on his base. We got men at arms all up in his base as well. He's going to be idling Nico now. Alright, so let's uh, do this. Probably GG. Probably GG. Alright, still got it. See, if we need to win, we just go England. Eh. Are mining upgrades viable? Oh yeah, for sure. Mining upgrades are very good. I'm going to keep coming up on the hill here. We are the king of England. Yes, still got it. This map looks nothing like its picture. Yeah, that's true. All right, so let's just win another game, and then we should be back to Diamond, and uh, then we can start grinding to Conqueror. Yeah, last season we got Conqueror. This will put us into Diamond, which... Uh, 1,200, 1,300. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, but I think we can do it. As long as we win, like, 50% of our games, we'll, we'll get there, and that should be pretty possible. Yeah, the early pressure was good. I mean, it's such a it's such a, a crucial thing. Like, if I just let him eco, then we're going to have a super grind. He also did a weird TC play. Yeah. You know, the TC thing with England, I don't really like it. I think he did that because, I don't know why. Was he mining stone? Yeah, he was. Maybe he was looking to tower rush me or something. I don't really know why he did that. To, yeah, I, I've had a cold for the past three or four days. That's why I haven't been streaming. Um, so, I feel great. I feel really good. It's it's like a throat and chest cold, so it's just affecting my throat and chest a little bit. So that's why I sound like a pirate tonight. But um, I should be good in the next few days. Be back to normal. <clears throat> Curse the Baggins, man. Curse it. Like, I want to play other civs that I'm not as good at, but I, I'm just going to, like, yeah. I don't know, man. Hey, I'm going to go grab some water real quick. BRB. My water mug is empty.
All right, I'm back. I returned from outer space. What civs do you want to be best at? I would really like to be a good, like, a Bassid player. Yeah, that'd be fun. Ezekiel, heading to bed. Got work in the morning. Good luck on the ladder. Hey, thank you. Greatly appreciate that. We will, uh, we'll get there. Yeah, lemon, ginger, vitamin C, all that sort of good stuff. Do you feel like the grind for ranks in AOE 4, the rest resets are brutal? Yeah, I do like the reset, Nakamura. I think it's good. It, like, re... If I would look, if I just got conquer and the seasons were really long, I wouldn't be as motivated to actually like try and practice. Um, I like the resets personally. Like Nakamura, that's um that's something I really would like to see for like Total War, right? Like no, in Total War Warhammer, nobody really cares about the ladder. I mean, some people do, but really, like if you look at the competitive scene, it's it's very insignificant. Whereas like <clears throat> in Age of Empires, you see like a big portion of like you know high level players playing on ladder and streaming ladder, and it's a very fun thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, Sam, we've just been isolating. So the wife and I have just been staying in. So I feel good, though. I feel good. I felt like death like three days ago. Like just absolute death. Hey, Turn, do you watch that? No, I, no, I don't. No. I've never even had an Instagram account. Like I, I, I literally just use Facebook. I mean, I don't use it, but if there's like old friends I'm trying to get a hold of or something, Facebook is my go-to. But yeah, I would love there to be like, how cool would it be if in Total War Warhammer, they had a season, like every two months, the ladder like auto reset. And then at the end of the season, you got like a cool avatar. So you get, if you get like 25 wins with vampire counts, you unlock like a skeleton. If you get 50 wins, you unlock like a necromancer. And it, that's like, I love that system. That's what they did in Warcraft 3. And I got to tell you, when I was a kid, I was like, I was so obsessed with grinding the Warcraft 3 ladder and um, getting the Illidan icon for 1500 wins with random, you know? I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I don't. I don't think I have the Rona. No. I mean, why don't you overlap towers? Yeah, Israel. You know, honestly, there's probably times where I should. Yeah, but like that's that's so on my. Um, I know this is Age of Empires, but let me show you guys real quick. So, hold on. <clears throat> I'm about to do a um, development cycle on my website my esports website for Total War Warhammer. So let me show you guys here. Uh, perfect. So yeah, this is the website that I run for Total War Warhammer. It keeps track of all the best players. So you can see the, um, the win to loss rate. You can go to the leaderboard. You can look at their match history. It's really fun. So you could like go look at Anticity and see who he's beaten and who he's lost to, whatever. But what I'm gonna be adding for the next development cycle, which is really exciting, is um, firstly, there's going to be a, uh, Oh, come on, brain. You, you can process three thoughts at once. You're going to be able to see a win to loss rate for every single faction. So when people now play in Total War, War, uh, Total War Warhammer tournaments, so like this tournament that happened today, when you go to report your score here, for example, um, you, you are going to report what faction you played and, and what your opponent played and if you won or lost. So the website's going to be tracking win to loss ratios for every single matchup and for each faction, which is super exciting. On top of that, uh, we're adding a feature, which this is the one I really want to add, where on Total Tavern, you'll have your own profile. So when you're logged into the website and you unlock an icon for wins with certain factions. So if you win like 25 matches with the Greenskins, you'll unlock a Goblin. If you unlock, if you win 25, 50 with Greenskins, you unlock like an Orc Boy. So you guys who play Total War Warhammer will be able to unlock like cool icons on the website. So eventually when we add forums and like other capabilities, uh, you'll have these like things that represent what you main and I, man, I've so, I've so many ideas for it. I have so many ideas. Yeah. Sorry if my voice is a little bit raspy, but th th those, those are the dreams of the future. Ah, uh, yes. Good Anakin. Good. Man, four minutes. I feel like matchmaking is weird. Like even when I play, when, when I placed, I had a really bad, like initial matchmaking and I placed in gold. And I was playing against like Diamond and Conqueror players like right away. Do I write the code? No, I, I'm really terrible at technology. We, um, who do I want to play? I know it's, I should just play England to try and get the W. We're playing the dreaded garlic bread. Let's see. I just don't want a mirror match is all. <sighs> do I want to go Holy Romans again? Let's go Holy Romans. Let's, let's play it properly. Let's just not be stupid. Let's 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 play smart. Yeah, Nakamura, I thought you would appreciate it, man. Uh, you've done. I, I love the website and everything you do, Nakamura, man. 
your, your, your stuff for Spellforce and the other games you cover is awesome. The game's been good. We've lost, we lost two and one, one, but they've all been good games. And I'm more awake now. Like I can feel my brain is sharp. So I think we're going to play better now. I should really like at the beginning of every like ladder stream, I should play two games unranked just to warm up. Cause yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a really big factor in RTS. <clears throat> God damn, man. I wish my throat would just chill out. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, Brian, take care, man. Thank you for joining on the stream. Okay, gold is a little bit suspicious. What are we playing? Bassett? Okay. I feel like a Bassett are pretty good. I'm, I'm digging them. Yeah, I, you know, Holy Romans have always been my favorite faction. Like, aesthetically speaking. Um, so I, I gotta get, I gotta get them back. Okay, really good sheep haul, actually. That's a that's a great great amount of sheep that we got there. Not over on this side. This side's been a little bit sad and destitute. We're gonna we're gonna try hard here. We're gonna sweat. All right. So, do we have any hunts nearby? I don't see any, unfortunately. Usually, like a deer camp is the best place for the Aachen Chapel. It's just super prime time. All right. So let's keep looking. See what we can find. Probably up here. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I felt so bad. I, you know, I was getting so many people asking, like, when, when's age going to happen? And I was like, I'm too weak. Please. I want to play. Yeah, the Camel Archers can be pretty good against you. They, can, I actually think a Basset at the no-k matchup here. I really do. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to go Fast Castle, but Relic Focus this time. The Burger Palace was cute, but, like, I don't know if I liked it. Don't know if I was a huge fan of it. Where the heck is our deer camp? It must be out here. It must be out there. Okay, so we're going to go 6, 5, and uh, and a couple on the other. Yeah, camel archers are really good. And what's good about camel archers is they can trade pretty well. Okay, maybe we just go Aachen right here and hit our golden wood. I, I think that's what we do. Because I, I don't have like a good deer camp, sadly. Remember the days of pro scouts? And that was like the meta. That was that was pretty fun. Okay, very close. Just need a couple more gold turn-ins. Yeah, we see four relics. The fifth one's probably yeah. Here's our deer camp. Like this would be a really risky deer camp against the Bassid. They could they could maybe all in you with rams or something. Oh god, but it's so good. It's so good and tasty. That's like such good guaranteed food over there. But yeah, we got it. We got to play it smart. All right, so that looks good to me. Did they buff the influence range of that? It looks like they kind of did. Well, anyways. We have a pretty good sheep, so I think we'll be okay. We're going to get two on lumber. Two on lumber. Eh, three on lumber should be fine. Still going fast castle. Yeah, Joshua, you, you, watched the, you were watching the deli game I played last night? Yeah. It was a good one, dude. I thought I was dead in the water in that game. That was a, that was a crazy game. All right, so let's motivate some of you guys with the power of the Lord. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's go see what he's up to. I I can't remember the last time I've actually faced an aggressive Abbasid player. I, I I don't recall it happening. We should have four or two on the uh, on the uh, building. I find that that's kind of the sweet spot. I could be wrong. Do you guys remember that movie? Um, it was a Peter Jackson movie called Dead Alive. I think is what it's called. It's like a really over the top, like 80s kind of style zombie movie. And it has, it's very much in the vein of um, Army of Darkness and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> it has a little bit of comedy in it, but it's still kind of grotesque and scary. But there's a, there's a scene in that movie where like the zombies are like rising up in the graveyard. And there's a priest and he does, he's like up on top of this thing and he does like a backflip and lands and just like starts kicking the zombies asses. And he's like, I kick ass for the Lord. It's like one of my favorite scenes ever in movies. It's so funny. All right. Well, anyways, I should probably focus on actually my build order and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Tasty Relic's just waiting to be taken. Yeah, so we're going to go stable. Ooh, I could have I maybe gotten him. I maybe could have. Maybe could have gotten him. Wow, that's a really fast feudal, actually. That's very impressive on his part. All right, so let's get you. We're going to get through those sheep mighty quick. Um, we'll have to set up at the hunt or something. I'm not sure. We need to see if he's going uh, 2TC. 
Yeah, brain. Yeah, that was a Peter Jackson movie, which is the craziest part about it. It's, it's hilarious. So we do this. Boom. Keep going. Looking good. Yeah, so he's going 2TC. Yeah, it was a really fun movie, though. It's like, I kick ass for the Lord. That's like, that, it, it, when I play HRE, it just makes me think of that. I'm like, oh, that's, 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 a, that's a pretty apt description of it. So we're going to go with a, a night opening to just suppress him a little bit, and then we uh, grab all the relics on the map. We're going to go Regnets this time around, though. So hopefully it works out for me and we don't just get trash canned. Um, let's set up at the deer hunt out here. Yeah, we know he's doing 2TC. We could harass him a little bit. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's put a little bit of fear in him here. <clears throat> Okay. Wow, that's... Okay, still didn't have his town center yet. This is good. This is good. Um, Not going to build anything out of the stable. We got that coming up. We can even get a, a tower over there. Dude, look at these scouts just going ham. Why do, why do I feel like my scouts are doing more work here? Oh, look at him! See, that's that's good for us. If, if you get somebody to pull like that, then, like, that's just... Like... He shouldn't be doing this. He's he's idling so much time. It's a very easy mistake to make. Look at it. What, what is this shit? What is this? What is he doing? Oh, he's going to set up his town center. Okay. I, for a second, I was like... I was like, what the heck is this madman doing? Is he really going to chase me to the ends of the earth? Let's get the wheelbarrow. Dude, we're actually going to get a villager. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I know how the new Regnets works. Don't worry. Oh, we got a vill! Dude, the eco damage, the big eco plays. Die, inti. All right. That was uh, that was pretty good. Overall, pretty happy about that. Okay, so house is coming up. It's not the fastest castle tech, but you know, it's it's trying its best. Got to give me a break. Okay, he's not mining gold, so we're going to be, like, pretty much free, be, free in castle. Okay, so let's keep looking, seeing if we can find out, like, what military tech he's actually going. We got the wheelbarrow with a nice little tower over there. Let's do this. And we can go for the Regnant's Cathedral. Pop you out. Get you over here. And you, buddy, can head on over there to grab this relic. We'll set you up, and we can set up a tower here, too. I really like the new the way that it plays now, the cathedral. It's um the HRE changes have been very fun. Go my precious. Yes, raid. Let's see if he wants to pull those bills again. We'll see. Um we can go double stable. Just start pumping out knights. We know where his TC is, so oh maybe we can brute force it. Okay, interesting. That's pretty ballsy. Did he do the other one, though? Let's go see if he did. He's going to lose another villager to my haggard harass here. We'll get those relics one way or the other. It's going to happen. He might have walled this. He's actually taking villager L's, though. Oh, my God, look. That villager has, like, one HP. It's the one who got away. I love it. Oh my god, the prelate got in there, but... Is he trapped? Alright, so let's grab you. Take that back. We have Friar Tuck over here, I believe, who's motivating everybody. Good, let's go grab this. Head up here. Okay, he's got Camel Archers, which is a pretty good answer against our knights. Uh, we're just going to try and get control of the relics. Can I will low these walls, please? Is that possible? I love how I have a caged prelate here. That's so funny, dude. It's hilarious. Alright, so let's get you. You guys come back here. We need to get the lumber situation going. So boom, boom, and boom. Yeah, so he's going to probably use his, uh, his camel archers to hunt down my prelates. Hey, oh, he got out. Shit. How did that happen? Well, hopefully we finish this tower in time. I guess there was a... Oh, did he let me out? Wait, what? What's going on here? What planet are we on? 
Okay, let's get on you. So we grab this. And then we uh, go on stone. So let's get you on stone. I mean, knights will still trade okay into the camel archers. So let's get you on this. You go ahead and jump back in the Aachen. Chasing the dreaded camel archer. Perfect. So now we can get some good knight harass on him. We have a couple relics. It's not, not like amazing, but it's, it's certainly okay. Yeah, so the knights are going to be a problem to deal with. And we should be able to get these. Yeah, he put he put in a bit of effort to shut that down. And do we have a house coming up? We should. Yes. Oh, he's got nowhere to hide. We're going to get him. Yep, he's got a lot of bills running for the hills and idling, which is nice. Set that up. Camel Archer is here. Yeah, this is good. I mean, he's getting idled and we're getting map control, so. Give me those, those villager kills. Ooh, he lost a lot of villagers over here, too. And we're getting all the sacreds, which is also awesome. The Aachen is online once again. Let's idle his main base. And you guys can come over here. You can attack here. All right, so blacksmith probably is necessary. We've almost gotten through here. So he's castle age now, so all of our, our jollies we've gotten at his expense are going to chill out a little bit now. Let's uh, get a critical mass at his expansion, see what we can do there. Alright, get this, get that out. And we need to get a marketplace for sure. So we can actually trade properly. Yeah, that relic down there is going to be a little bit of a problem to get, but it's okay. Alright, lady. Let's get our knights, head over here. We'll start trading soon. Definitely need to get going on lumber. Oh, that's not good. That's pretty unfortunate timing for him. He was going for the hunt. Very unlucky. And, uh... Yeah. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I felt that one. I felt that one for him. I don't know what his military looks like right now, but probably not very good. He's got one dreaded camel archer here. He's going to need some spears or something. Yep, he's just taking so much damage. We need to get back, though. We don't want to lose too much. Alright. Set this up. Towers, towers. We have all the sacreds. Let's get down here, set up a tower. Take that guy down. Now we can switch into some spears or men at arms even. Alright, head back to the base. Motivate those lumber workers. Shut this down again. And we'll try and get that last relic there. He's just gonna lose even more eco here though. Yeah, he just gave up. GG. GG. He was so behind. I mean, he probably had less bills than us. We had four relics or three <coughs> with all three sacred sites, too. Yeah, it was brutal. I haven't used the new camera, though. I haven't used the new camera. I'm a bit of a... I don't like I don't like changing my video games, so I'm not going to... Yeah, see, he's just like his eco had to be in the pits. Oh, sometimes, like, the problem with the walling relics, even though it's kind of decent, is that... You, you have like all these villagers kind of like running around the map, not gathering resources early when it actually matters. I think walling like a couple is good, but walling every single one, that's a lot of wood. Yeah, see, we're, we're awake now. Hey, look at that. We got diamond again. Cool. Um, so now we just grind our way up to conquer, but. That was pretty fun. Let's see what the villager count is. Um, but that's, that's basically, that's how you play HRE in ranked. You just... Fast castle, stables, knights, control the map, grab relics under the map control, and just prosper. The garlic bread has been consumed, it has. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. He just, 
He had some unfortunate timings with his, um, oh my God, look at the gold difference, Jesus. 5,000 to 1,800, so nasty. How many bills did he have? Let's see, statistics, villager count. Yeah, he, he dropped below us there at the end. HRE is strong, but they get wrecked by French. <coughs> ah, man, the stupid cold. All right. So let's, uh, we got diamond, guys. We're back, like, in our territory now, which is good. And I think it's time for the dreaded FFA. Because now I can play a Civ that, you know, I don't normally play. Probably be a little bit of a shorter stream tonight. I'm still recovering from this accursed cold. Um... You know, this could take like an hour and a half, this FFA, so. Okay, um, whoa, what is this? City state? Huh, each player starts with a few monks and has to find, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'll, I'll have to take a look at these. Let's do a big, just mega random doomsday map. Do I have to re-download it after the patch? No, it's right here, okay. Mega random, gigantic. Uh, we could do it large, actually. And, um... Yeah, let's, let's party. You guys join up. Uh, Turin FFA. Ah, uh, the crew is here. News team assemble. Go whoever you want this game. I'm going to go Roos. I want to try Roos in FFA now. Yeah, French is very strong. Let the gatekeeping begin. I know. HRE does feel very good. I love, my favorite thing with HRE is to get relics and put them in towers. Like, forward aggressive towers on the map, and then, like, they just control big swaths of ground, which is good. All right. So we got the Gunhound, the Anonymous Q, uh, CNN, Nobody's Business, a bowl of mashed potatoes, <laughs> rock and roll here, and Sirio Pharrell. Sirio Pharrell is the name of the uh, Swordmaster in uh, Game of Thrones. It's uh, the one who trains Arya Stark in the water dancing. Pretty fun stuff. No team. And, uh, ooh, let's, let's go with the... Let's go send a message here. Yeah, we'll go with the, the pink ruse. It's time. Hey, Qualifield, welcome to the welcome to the game. Set no teams, please. Play whoever you want. No need to random. I want people to, you know, enjoy themselves here. Hmm. That's some good water right here, guys. Okay, so we need to get these guys uh, nobody's business. And the last person is Sirio. Yeah, as long as... Yeah, I think we're, we're good. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of new faces in here for sure. <clears throat> you are purple. So we got two England. We got one random. Chinese. So you can see what happens when people are left to their own devices. You can see we get a lot of English and we get a lot of Chinese. Chinese China's even scarier now. Fire Lancers, I think, just got buffed, so they're going to be a terror. But so too will the double English. <clears throat> I wanted to play Roos because they can build um, <clears throat> they can build stone walls and Imperial now if we build the right landmarks. I'm like super hyped for that. Yes, let's see if we can get the W. Uh, I haven't played yeah Red Decide or any of those other games. Ball, but I do I do plan on it. I think that'd be something that could be pretty fun. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm the only Roos player. Yeah, Roos, double Mongol. The Mongols are probably the most annoying FFA Civ just because they're so hard to finish off and they just get infinite stones. So in the late game, they just have like a million cannon towers. It's like, oh my God, end me. We're on a large map though. So there could be some early aggression. Let's see who our neighbors are. It's always fun. We'll see what sort of funny business comes our way. <laughs> So far in ranked, not bad. We went two and two tonight. We had a couple of really bad games in the beginning. I just played super poorly, but um, last two were pretty good, pretty decisive. So I'm happy about that. I think like I got to be more aggressive early and feudal. I think that's one of my big weaknesses. I often just get really cozy. I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm just gonna kind of hang out here. Roos is a sieve that I really want to get good at. I have to. I have to learn the way though. Okay, let's do that. And let's drop the sheep off. I think I'm gonna practice them. Off stream, see what I can get done. Go send the scout sheep to their lands. Okay, so this isn't a 1v1, this is an FFA. Okay, so I can I can chill out a little bit. For a second, I thought I was in another FFA game. I was like, oh, gotta be extra sweaty here. 
Good luck, have fun. Yes. Good luck, have fun, my friends. Let's get the sheet back here. My favorite thing about playing Roos and FFA is that people almost never deny the bounty. <clears throat> hey, look at all the good sports here, man. This is great. Ah, oh, we see the Dread Khan. Is he going to take the wolf from us? No, it doesn't look like it. Get on the wood, you go. See if we can find some more hunts. We are on a mega random map, so we don't really know what to expect. Could be good, could be terrible. Let's go see what's in the corners here. <clears throat> yeah, putting a tower near your lumber camp is pretty good for the roos. You obviously can uh, get the extra wood. That's what she said. Ooh, a nice corner here. We have a sacred site, and maybe it's a choke point where we could consider building a wonder in the late game. It's kind of what I'm thinking here. Uh, you know what? We are going to go for the greedy wheelbarrow. Okay, trading posts, lots of resources. Although we're not having a super good um, run of deer and whatnot. We've only found one camp so far, so we gotta we got to step up our game there. There's the boar. The old Bora. Mega random maps, I think I think that's like the most fun. It's just it's so unpredictable and wild and let's take you back. Take me down to the paradise city. Guns and Roses is so good. They're definitely fun. Metallica though, I think is the jam. Been listening to a lot of the uh the songs in the black album and red lightning and all that. All right, head on back. Let's get these sheep. Make sure the people don't go hungry. Back at the base. We have the wheelbarrow. Really not too much success with uh, finding camps, though. So hopefully we will soon. All right, drop you off. I know there's a base down here, but let's go see what we can find. So who is our neighbor there? I think it was uh, the Holy Romans. Okay, so here we go. So there's the, the dreaded gunhound. Can we creep past him? Maybe. I don't think he's going to garrison snipe us. I think we're okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we made it past. Let's go see if we can find his deer camp. Yeah, we got we got a trade post in the corner too, which is good. Pretty close to us. Sheep and wolf. Man, okay. This hunt is not going great. Thankfully, we just found one. That's going to get us there. Yes, good, good. All right, let's keep exploring the realm. We finally got a decent little spawn, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, Golden Gate for sure. Kremlin is fun, but I don't think it's that good of a landmark. The Kremlin had its time in the meta. There was a time when people used to pick the Kremlin. Okay, here we go. Nice. <laughs> that was a pretty good spot. That, that scout has uh, certainly some good vision. <laughs> Curses. I'm too weak, Anakin. My voice is growing tired. So I think we go for like a greed kind of build here. Where we go for like a double TC or something. Yeah, if we can get the 250, then I'm pretty happy overall. Horse archers are going to be the jam. Horse archers and knights and just try and run over someone near us. That's got to be our play. Yes, good, good. Where are your gear? Wow, that's a really fast feudal from Rack and Roll there, jeez. Look, all the deer are like mountain-dwelling creatures on this map. Okay, this scout's almost dead there. You better watch out. Like, yeah, pretty much all the deer we've been finding have been uh, hanging out up in the hills there. Oh, I can kind of reach. Are they sealed in there? Oh my god, they are. Look, these deer are actually sealed in. I have to, like, shoot them from across the, uh, the little landmass there. That's pretty funny. All right, so we are going to be getting the Golden Gate. What we're going to do with the Golden Gate is go for um, an expansion. This is actually not a bad spot for uh, for one of those. Hey, don't you do it. Don't you do it. You let me have these. Okay. See, nobody thinks about denying Roos, which is just the greatest. Nice. Can we actually reach you guys? I don't think we can. That's too bad. All right, so we're about to get feudal. After this, we head back there. Then we buy some stone. We get the, sec the t double TC and then go castle, um, get relics. You guys know the drill. All the things that we love. I am fighting Nurgle IRL, it's true. <clears throat> Nurgle and I are having a duel of fates. I'm gonna win though, I'm gonna kick his ass. So. Too slow for me. 
All right, looks good, looks good. Let's keep heading around. We have enough. We just have to wait for one more timing here. Now you guys set that up. Go get those berry bushes of doom. 390, let's see how many more we can find. Yeah, this is, we had a really bad opening with the hunt, but now it's <clears throat> becoming pretty damn good. We'll set up a, a TC down here on top of that deer camp, I think. Ooh, yeah. Give me the goods, precious. Let's go. Look at, dude, look, this map has like a lot of strange terrain here. I almost think Fast Castle might be better, but we're already committed to the stone play, so let's, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, turn in your resources so we don't waste them. I do that all the time. This is going to be the Koala Man from chat. And he is uh, the dreaded king of Chinese in the north. Okay. You guys jump here. Jump in the berry bushes. Oh my god, there's even more? Oh, well, I deserve that. Although the Chinese one, yeah, we might actually get away, which is pretty funny. I won't, I won't, uh, I won't complain. I think this might actually yield us a little bit. Let's build that hunting cabin for gold there. Is there oh my god, look, look at all the mountain faring deer in this game. Alright, so let's keep scouting. Trebuchet the deer, I love it, that's so funny. Yeah, we might have to. Alright. So, double sacred site in the middle. We have the boars. <clears throat> these, look, we can't. We legit just can't get to these mountain deer. Oh, that's so funny. So, Scout's just gonna hang there in the corner for now. There's there's no surviving. And let's just go explore, like, the region near our base. Let's get the forestry upgrade. How much are we getting from this hunting cabin? Probably, like, 20 to 30. Which isn't bad by any stretch. Okay. Look at the con, dude. The gunhound is, is coming for us. Okay, relics upon relics. That is a bold strategy. Ugh, man, that's just too, that's just too, he's like literally in my base, like shooting my workers. It had to happen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I feel bad, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's go scout the uh, periphery of our base, see what it looks like. Now we're playing uh, standard, <clears throat> standard, yeah. Oh, 40, 40 gold. That's actually really good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, the barbecue of the sun. <clears throat> I don't want to be barbecued. I know there's a deer hunt down here, so let's set up this if we can. Perfect. You see the Mongols. Oh, did he move his base? Was that where his base always was? I don't remember it being there. I don't remember it being there. Anyways, let's grab some of this. We're getting getting close to where we want to be. One, two. Let's set up some archer ranges. Horse archer spam is really good, especially if you're trying to get relic control. Yeah, and we, we're going to get stone walls eventually, which will be incredibly useful. Okay, let's get some walls up for the great empire here. Get you. Now we're just kind of waiting to get to the next age. So we'll just sell. And uh, with the hunting cabin, we should be getting enough. Sirio says, please don't kill me. Oh man, there's already politics. I love it. <clears throat> we need to get some relics though. I mean, we do have a good trading situation going, but we need to get castle here. And you know, with 2TC, it's going to take a little bit longer for sure. But... All right, let's just keep exploring the map. We have our 500 bounty, so our food gather rate is going to be pretty, pretty popping, which I'm very happy about. We're we're literally trapped up in the in the in the corner base. No escape. Drums drums in the deep. Um, do you have any other food sources here? Yeah, we can we can just waddle over here. It's fine. The Mongols are already trading with Silver Tree. Wow, that's pretty gangster. Okay, let's take you guys. Let's do Abbey of the Trinity. Set that up here. We'll hide our other landmarks. Fast guy will probably go in the corner here. Yeah, so people are getting castle age very quickly. Obviously, with 2TC, we're going to be a little bit slower. So, you know, it is what it is. So now we probably want to jump on gold in a very standard way. Get you. Horse archers will come in time. And set that up. 
You shall stay in my lands forever, Turretty says. I love it. Yeah, it looks like it looks like our scout is trapped. He is now a, 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 a colonist of, of that fine gentleman's empire there. Yeah, we should be able to get a couple relics, though, I think. Outstanding. There's at least the one in the corner, which is good. Okay, horse archers. Horse archers are just really, really good at fighting. Like, right out of the gates and castle, they're just very disruptive. I don't, I don't know. Should I be aggressive this game? Stay in character, Sirio? No, he's definitely not staying in character. Okay, that's enough on gold. And boom. Get on that. You want to hit lumber hard so we can switch into a farm economy? Uh, let's go for some... Man, the relics are just disappearing from the map, like, super quick. Very, very quickly. Yeah, we're getting 30 from this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, look, all the relics are disappearing. It's probably the HRE down here, yeah. <clears throat> There's a very angry HRE player who's probably, uh, probably cackling. Set up a tower there. People are getting sacreds already? My goodness. Let's go see if we can, like, camp near some relics. Although, yeah, there's there's a relic. I think the Mongols moved their base. Yeah, they did. That's really funny. Yeah, this relic's going to be hard to get. We can go camp this with our horse archers and hope for the best. Let's grab this. Head there. And uh, we can get the arrow upgrades. <clears throat> More houses. For sure, maybe set up a trade empire. People are reaching castle age. Ooh, hello. Come on. Come on. Give me the goods. And then where is he at? We just saw him around here somewhere. I could have sworn I just saw him. Do my eyes deceive me? I think... Look at this. Look, look. Yonimus is like thinking the same thing. Just like, okay, nobody's getting those relics for free. That's really funny. Uh, man, this area over here is pretty juicy. Oh man, look, the Holy Romans are here with like a million spearmen. Everybody wants those relics, that's so funny. Oh my god, look at this, Eonimus is coming for it. Are we gonna get the pick here? Oh, we got the pick! We did it! That's so funny. LOL. Okay, so let's take our boys over, see what we can do. The double TCs are going strong. We should be able to get the farms going. Where is our relic? Oh, he's actually got a lot here. Is that Dreadboar attacking us? Oh man, there's actually two angry armies here. It's gonna be very hard to get this relic. Alright guys. So the party's going. We're getting a fair amount of picks on this Mongol force. I think he managed to get the relic. I think he's got another shaman nearby. Oh, he's here! Oh no, he's got too much. Our, our guy fell. <clears throat> yeah, he's he's all entrenched there. We don't want to mess with that. All right, let's get back to the abbey. So, basically what needs to happen, guys, is we need to take out one of our um, neighbors and get those relics. Set up a big farmville here. Very nice. That feels good. Can't let them get that gold. And let's set up more farms here. We're just ecoing like, like maniacs, basically. Dude, there's just like a massive rumble for those relics, which is so funny. Um, let's grab you. I don't want to build walls yet until I can build like stone walls. Battle of the three armies, yeah, it truly was, wasn't it? Yeah, they were they were very cozy there. All right, so we're going to get Boyar's Fortitude. <clears throat> I think HRE got most of those. We're just a sad relic boy up in the corner. It's just our one. But yeah, once these farms are fully operational, man, we're gonna be we're gonna be living our, our best life. Um, yes, yes, and we probably want to have you guys 
Go ahead and jump on some stone. <clears throat> okay, let's get a tower up here. This is a, not a bad trade post to secure either. I feel like we're surrounded by many foes though, that's for sure. Oh man, it feels, I think that's one of the best feelings in the game is to just place like a million, a million farms. Okay, so we know who needs to die. It's gonna be the Holy Romans. So we're just gonna marshal a Doom Legion to go, go to his base and see what happens. He's trying to decap our sacred site. All right, perfect. You, buddy, come out here and grab this. Yeah, look at these knights here. What are they doing? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Sacred Sight is lost. How dare they? We're going to need to recapture that if we can. And we never got the wall off finished here. Let's do that. All right, so the Roost Knights definitely stronger than the Holy Roman Knights, although some of them are kind of low, so let's pull them back. He's going to try and flee the scene. We might not be able to kill him. I mean, he could be super jacked. We don't know. I anticipate our eco, though, is here. It's pretty damn strong. All right. That's a nice little grab for us. So I think we need to start thinking about going imp now. Okay. So we're capturing some random sacreds. Just trying to get some money where we can. And let's set you up here. <clears throat> just get some map control. And do we want to just trade backwards? I don't know how much that would actually give us. We'll have to test out the waters here. This is a pretty decent little spot. It's very safe. So let's just get like some minor trade going and see if it's worth. Ah, we're being attacked by the dreaded Mongols. Okay, we can't we can't allow these towers to run rampant here. Okay, so we're resecuring this. Got to go deal with the Red Mongols. Pretty close. I mean, we have this trade post too with eight charges, just kind of banking it right now. Let's see if we can go save that sacred site from going down. I think we we can beat the Mongol army for sure. Let's give it a college try. All right, so the trade posts are coming. Oh, hello. Where's the rest of my army? Ah, oh, they got stuck on the tower. Cool. You guys come down. If we could just hold two sacred sites, that's that's really nice. What is our eco? 91? Very nice. All right, so now we grab all of you guys. Go to the corner. And do that. Very good. That's that's a sweet spot. You know what's really cool about this? <clears throat> is after this, we're going to be able to build stone towers. Which is so weird. That's going to take some getting used to. That for sure is going to take some getting used to. We haven't really attacked anybody yet. I'm trying not to be too like aggressive. So I don't want to make too many enemies if I don't have to. All right, let's get that tower set up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yanov is trying to politic me. I, I have to. I have to respond. We can't just let let them get the the political jabs. <laughs> Rack and roll says. Love you, Turin. Oh, appreciate that. Thank you. Yonibus is always a great, a great adversary. A very, very strong schemer and player. Okay. That's what he wants us to think. I love it. Okay, Spaskai is done. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. So, Knights. Our gold income isn't amazing. But, let's see what we can do here. Dude. Roost building stone wall towers or stone walls is just weird. I love it, but it's very, very, it feels very strange. I feel like I'm like cheating. Like I unlocked like a cheat code or something. So we need to just grab whatever resources we can on the map. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's not gonna have this. Okay, we, we might have to just go deal with the Mongols actually. Cause I do want to get stone walls up there to make sure I'm like safe and secure. Yeah, and then we got this party also on the way. Okay. Middle might be taken, but 
but we'll get some more towers up there. We have to go say hello to the Mongols. So we don't really care for Streltsy at this moment. Get this Night Sabers, looking good. We get all the upgrades that we could possibly hope and dream for. Get you, get Uni. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how this actually is. Like, if that's going to be, like, lucrative for us. We don't have the biology upgrade yet. That's going to be the sweet spot. Look, look, on how it's like you stay over there now, you hear? I just want my walls up. I just want my walls up, homie. That's, that's, all, that's all we're asking for here. Okay, it brings back 53. It's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. Trying to get my stone walls. The dreaded gunhound lurking, waiting for us. Dude, look at this. I'm Roos building... Roos suddenly is, like, actually a good FFA save. Like, this is, like, pretty huge, actually. Riders of Rohan. Oh, there's there's some Rohan action going. So I'm, I'm just kind of, like, playing very tame and gathering um, resources. Right now... We're going to, for sure, attack somebody soon. You need to get some warrior monks. Get some horse archers jamming out. Our eco is 118 right now, so we probably don't want too much more on the eco. You guys turn in here and jump over to gold. Well, it seems there's already some Rohirrim action going here. Let's do this and then build it like a little bit lower so maybe he doesn't like attack it so quickly. Let's go make sure this like happens here. Uh, do we have the... Yeah. Let me trade and you can have your walls. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm like looking to make deals here. Roos with the dreaded stone walls are feeling <clears throat> especially confident today. All right, so let's get biology. It's a great upgrade for us. Make some houses. Oh, oh, they're talking. Oh no, Gunhound! Gunhound just got killed. What the hell? Let's go explore. Okay, that makes me a little nervous. I feel like there's like some weird shit going on. So let's just put a keep here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh my god. Is this actually happening here? Is this the end of the road? Oh no, guys, we might just be dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen. We're in some danger. I mean, we have some units, but it's a this is why you hide landmarks, guys, cuz if we didn't do this, then we would just be straight up dead. He's trying to get me. We'll see. He might. But I think we're okay. We, our knights will trade very well here. He cackles. How are they getting healed? How are his units healing? That's yeah, that's what I'm curious about here. Dude, we were like a second away from getting a stone wall set up too. Okay, we still have a lot of knights. We're getting a fair amount of damage here. We should be alright. Alright, he doesn't have that many left. We're fine. The Fire Lancer Cheese. See, this is like why FFA fundamentals are so important. Because like, even if he gets our base, we have this in the corner. So we're suddenly like, okay. Okay, let's get you guys on this. Oh, lovely. We, we just, he just showed us our, our weakness here. Uh, we're getting the frontal walls. Dear God. The spirit way lets Fire Lancers heal now? Oh wait, man, that's crazy. Okay, well, let's do this. Yeah, we're good. We're not going to go that easily. We're not going to go into the night that quickly. Alright, so he's getting his walls. Thankfully, the Roost Knights are just unholy, so they were able to hold. Mm, opening in the walls here. Dude, if I didn't have, like, stone walls, I would just be, like, dead, most likely. Sirio Pharrell has left the match? Oh no, Sirio. Well, not as close as you think, rock and roll. Not as close as you think. <laughs> Unless he knows where my last landmark is or something. 
Our eco is still mostly intact too, which is nice. Okay, great. So the army has been has been squashed. Let's go finish this. Uh, keep getting a good army. <laughs> he says truce. LOL. There can be no peace after this this atrocity you've committed against my people. I'm so grateful for the stone wall towers. All right, so we just need to repair everything at this point. Um, you know, honestly, our eco is still pretty good. We didn't we didn't like take it that badly. We got the biology upgrade. Uh, let's just get more of this. And we can build some gates, and uh, we do need to get this up to. All right, so it's going to be very important to um, make sure we're we're safe here this game. Oh, see, this is this is a little bit of a problem. See, this is this is the issues I'm talking about here. Yeah, why are they not sealing that? And then you come over here, guys. Yeah, I can't quite get that sealed. Let's see if we can do this. So yeah, let's just sit back and I don't need to go be aggressive. I don't need an emotional response. We need to play it smart. So landmarks are being repaired. We got two of them, and thankfully it keeps my charges too, which is really, really solid. We got 41 knights. You did get yellow, that's true. You you did get the, the gunhound. One of our mighty champions here. We're safe against the, the snipe for now. <clears throat> I think the front of our base is secure. You can always tell by just pathing units through. Okay, so do we have anybody coming out here? Back to the farms you go, my minions. Let's just re regather this bank we have. Trade route could be improved. Do this. Buy a little bit of stone, set you up here. And perfect, you guys jump back here. We're gonna have to be very like aware of our uh Let's go explore the, the Fallen Empires. Let's go see what's going on. Our second TC has fallen, but that's not the end of the world. Like I said, our eco is still pretty good. Not a lot of gold at the moment. Not a lot of gold. Let's pull you guys in. Go grab the middle. And uh, let's get the trade going. Can you guys get through? Yeah, they have a gate here. Very nice. So that should be a pretty straight shot for the trade route. We'll go see what the Chinese Empire in the corner looks like. Ah, oh, looks like there's a bunch of Fire Lancers waiting in the bushes, probably to try and snipe me again. Yeah, let's just flatten him. He is Imp. He's retreating back to his base. He's got the Great Wall Gatehouse, which has like all sorts of funny business with it. Okay, let's jump you guys on golds. Looking good. Did the Mongol gold base... Oh, they did have a relic, actually, so let's grab that. <clears throat> Every little bit counts, you know. Every little bit counts. Mm -hmm. So we're going to grab this with the boys. Make some more of you. Get a hunting cabin for the goodies. And we need to definitely get more infrastructure now. All right, you take it back to the old main base. I got some schemes. I got some schemes, guys. We'll, we'll see. So the Chinese are obviously a big threat to us. I'm, I think everybody else is like fighting on the rest of the map. Um, do we want to get any stone walls here? I think we just take whatever gold we can. Get the final lumber upgrade. We're fully walled. Yeah, we are. Okay. As long as I don't lumberjack myself out, we should be we should be okay. Okay, let's build that. <laughs> we'll low, low the Mongols. Yeah, well, we'll see. I got so I got some other fun ideas. But for now, I think we just chill out and like kind of get a feel for the uh, feel for the lands. Okay. 
The Roost Knights are definitely middle linebackers. With the Boyar's Fortitude and some of the other upgrades, they can they can do some nasty stuff. Is there any way to actually like go here? Okay, so we see orange. That's the Holy Romans. I think you guys have a general idea of what I'm thinking. Don't know how well it'll work, but you know, we gotta try. Uh yeah, let's get gunpowder. We're eventually going to want to get some RD and stuff. I don't know if we can actually like do anything here. It's a, it's a little bit annoying how micro-intensive it is. Our horse archers were never actually even elite. Well. Wow. Alright, so let's just do that for now. We can just chill out. So, got to keep tabs on China for sure. Just got to know if like Fire Lancers, different artillery, you know, all that fun business is coming for us. And let's get some siege workshops. One, two, three. Hey, China's here. Oh, they're just going to donate a bunch of villagers to me. I will take it. Ah, oh, he wanted the gold note. Okay. He says, oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, it does suck for you, buddy. This is vengeance for earlier, though. To be fair, you did almost kill all my base with your Fire Lancer uh, attacks. Better cancel that. Uh, oh, we still have a scout in his lands. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, here we should probably, yeah, how's this going now? And you guys do this one, great. You guys down here. Yeah, kind of hard to fill those berry bushes and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know if there is either, but we're going to kind of explore the option. Yeah, I'm looking here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, uh, maybe there could. He's hurting for gold up in the corner. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. I hear you. Gold's got to be pretty sparse. Um, so let's gather you here if we can. We will We will take the Gunhound's old base. We will honor him, honor his memory. <clears throat> Set up some walls. He's still, I mean, he's got a couple big stone nodes here, so we definitely want this. But man, like with with uh, with that sort of a neighbor, you have to be so privy to to um, landmarks and stuff. With you know the tactics, the the good old uh, fire lancers. Fire lancers are better now too, so it's even scarier. Okay, let's get you guys go gather some stone up here. We can go elsewhere. You shall become the turtle king. Yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. King of all turtles. Yes. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Is this? like a random Mongol raid up here? Oh, he's torching the, the ruined empire. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that makes more sense. I was for a second, I was like, why would he be here? Like, what treachery is this? Uh huh. We're gonna want bombards at some point or other. Dude, Roost with stone walls. So good in FFA. Alright, so let's push the Mongol horsemen back. The Chad Roost knights will run them over. This is, we have to honor the history of our fallen, our fallen comrade here. All right. So 37 idle bills. Let's just grab whatever we can. Get all these big gold nodes off the map. We don't really have great relics. We only have two. The HRE would be a nice target, but I don't know if the Chinese are going to like appear with anything in the shadows. They for sure could. Uh, this mountain range, you could also lumberjack through that. So we have to like make sure we don't lose to some stupid stuff. Okay, Mongol raiding force. It's Garrison in the, the keep here. Look, China, China's back. Oh yeah, we'll happily take this fight. You are trading. He's like, yeah, see, so he's about to open the gates. Uh, let's go ahead and make some Streltsy and some of you guys. Okay, I mean, if he just wants to let us out, we'll happily take this engagement, I think. I think we win it. And creep you guys around the back. Go get on the cannons. All right, I don't know. I don't think he actually has any spears. Yeah, he's, he's killing my trade here, which is unfortunate. So we gotta try and dispatch the Grenadier army. I don't think he can replenish gold quite like we can. Scrappy fight. I don't know if we actually even win that. Alright, let's get you guys. 
We need more infrastructure. I know they don't have any artillery now, though, so that's good for us. All right, yeah, we definitely need to switch to Streltsy. That's going to be pretty big. And uh, let's go get in the gold over here. <clears throat> we got pushed out of the middle relatively hard. All right, so we got the mangoes. Now we know what our Chinese opponent's doing, so we can we can adjust to the army comp. And uh, probably just basic horsemen is much more cost effective than knights at this point. <clears throat> I think. I think that's the case. We might have to do some of the haggard in base in mount, uh, in base trading here. I wonder who else is fighting. We actually have two people gone right now. Okay, interesting. What does our eco look like? One oh one. Not terrible. All right, so yes, you guys make some Streltsy, some Streltsy. Roos typically do very well with this type of, type of a combo. Definitely don't like that HRE horseman just like randomly chilling at my gates here. Okay, perfect. We got the keep. That will hopefully secure us a little bit of trade. Very suspicious little knight raiding us there. And what are we missing to get the elite horseman? I think it's in progress, yeah. Great. He did, in fact, have some spears. Yeah, no, it sure, sure looked like it. All right, let's get the walls built back. Looks like fun. So now we can actually macro a good army out if we need to. Let's <clears throat> play in that kind of defensive style here. Um, Where... Enemy destroyed. Ooh, landmarks are dying. Wow. We'll move out. People are just getting karate chopped across the map, so we're just going to kind of play Helm's Deep style. But now that we have some good units, we got some Streltsies in the mix. Uh, do we want army tactics? <clears throat> I feel like it's not even worth it at this point. Go for some of the lumber nodes here. Yeah. We, we amassed a big army quickly, but that's, that's pretty standard standard protocol there. We can delete that. And traders, you guys do this. And you go here, please. It's it's a lot of FFA is just about like banking resources and taking like smart fights. <clears throat> so you can really outlast people, but you know, there's still a lot of people in this game, so like Wonder, in my opinion, isn't really like a super great option. Need to get someone here. We can. Our horsemen were so outdated. Alright, set you up. We don't have any like hard hitting RD, so we probably can't trade with the Chinese super well. But they're gold starved and we're not, so we have we have good map control. That's one thing we, we were doing very well. Uh, siege engineering, sure, why not? Even though we don't really have much infantry. Um, yeah, so the Onibus looking mighty tyrannical on that side of the map. And we do have that second TC, which we, we never utilized. No. Okay, let's just keep expanding this so we can see what's going on. I think they're teaming. No, I don't think so. Most people who play here on stream play smart. They play to win. They don't play to just like just kill me or whatever, right? I mean, it, it, it could behoove them to do that. It really depends on the circumstances. All right, so decent little trade network going. <clears throat> Not bad by any stretch. Infinite wood, no gold. See that? Yeah. Even if we lose to Chinese armies, they can't replenish like we can. We're setting up our little towers. The uh, Great Wall and the choke point is super cool. I love that. Alright, let's get you. And let's get you. Wish your markets could trade with your own markets. Yeah, that, that would be very strong, my friend. And then we can try this. Where can we get a wall? Can we not get a wall here somewhere? Huh, weird. So we probably want to upgrade our chaff units. Mongols coming to try and torch our poor towers here. Well, they might get it. Oh, he's going after my market. Isn't that funny? How dare he, dude? This is so rude. That's why we have the other market, so. so. <laughs> Maybe drag them down eventually. All right, scare some of you guys in here. Nah, that's why we got the extra market. He's going to see that and go for it. These aren't Fire Lancers or anything. 
Like, I, I'm afraid to leave in case a big Chinese army appears. But chilling in the middle could be could be strong. Let's set up another keep here. And we probably want to get another market set up here. Just to be safe. We got eyes on the Chinese lands. He survives on Imperial. The only way he survives is taxing his people. Yes, that makes sense. Was he worried about turn and got steel chaired by fire lancers? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it can happen, man. It can happen. All right, good. So our lumber economy isn't the best, but it's also not terrible. We have plenty of resources laying around. <clears throat> nice little army, but like attacking into China's base is just asking for death, I feel. So who's the French down here? Yeah, there, there's probably some super scrappy fights happening around here. Let's go see if we can, like, get a trade with the Chinese. Try and run them out of resources. All right, be gone for my lands. The lands are looking mighty juicy. I know you've got some relics up there. <laughs> Don't worry, Gunhound. I'll try my best to, to do you proud. You did donate your relics to a good cause. You did. I Well, your relic. I think you only, only had one. Okay, so the Chinese army could emerge at any moment. I think we're getting the stone node here too. Good. I love that I have the scout. Like I can legit see what what's going on in his lands. Oh shit! I was I thought those were my horsemen for a second. I was like I literally watched them in like slow motion. I was like, wait a second, why 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 are they so purple? Okay, he runs his fire lancers back in. We do have the gold advantage. We have a lot of gold, so. Uh, yes, we want that for our, our, our horse archers in case we decide to get those. Steel in a stone. He's definitely gold, hurting for gold. I don't think he's got any. All right, you buddy can set this up here. Make sure there's nothing funny going on here. Mainly just fire lancers. All right, so you guys get that. Bards. And perfect. Okay, we, we probably want to calm our eco down a little bit. I thought those were my horsemen. Yeah. I was fooled. I was duped. Give us the stone, precious. More keeps coming up from the French in the middle. Nobody's business. Yeah. He's getting pretty ham here. B he could rapidly become foes. Oh, he's setting up a monastery right here. Interesting. Okay, he might push me out of the middle, which at this point we might have to just take because... Um, she goes here. Got a couple of bills down. Is there anything else we want to kind of slim down on? We do have a lot of wood back here. This whole lake back area is just so prime. Oh no. He has discovered my scout. That scout lasted a long time, man. He was he was a champ. Let's see if this bombard cannon can outrange the uh, the, the nest of bees in placement here. Let's get some horse archers. Look, 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 he's hunting my he's hunting my guy. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I don't like this in the middle. The French seem very brazen, like they're just they're just ready to go. I could set up forward supply lines, but I'm kinda low on wood, so I don't know if I really want to. Oh, I can actually range that. That's nice. Oh never mind. The nest holy shit, that nest the beast tower can hit reach that? Are you serious? Oh, let's go, loose formation. Okay, let's just hammer this army if he tries to come up here. Oh my god, the, the range on that is pretty nuts. Okay, let's get the cannon tower just to keep shooting. Look at this shit. Oh my god, the range on the, the Great Wall is so far. Uh, yeah, just haggard exchanges here. Okay, so we're going to need more like bombards in order for this to work. He's got a nice little defensible position there. That's 100% the truth. Finish this off. Delete you guys. Uh, what is our eco? 112 at the moment. All right, let's just go for the other side because this feels like it's going to take like 10 years to get in. Banking stone is very important. 
Where do you guys want to go? Is there anything? Is there any resources around here we can take? Yeah, we can go get you guys in the stone right there. All right, so we're trying the other side. We got some troops. We're probably gonna lose our army in some of the trades, but that's okay. It's it's part of it, and we're just banking resources again. That really is the big business. Okay, let's see if there's any options here. Let's keep going. We got knights coming across the realm. Ooh, he actually has a keep here. Huh. Oh, this must be the gold node that he was able to get earlier. All right, so we'll just kind of keep remove, keep removing the defenses. No serious attacks here, though. This is all just kind of like... Looks like there's some weird diplomacy going on across the map. I want to delete villagers, but I don't know. I feel like I want to grab as many resources as I can. So, We've got 29 Shelty here. <clears throat> Turn is the Barbarian Horde, kind of. Although he was the Barbarian Horde earlier. I guess, I guess that kind of shifted a little bit. Can definitely go up this way. I don't feel like I want to get burning oiled. We need to get enough so we can like build a wonder in a bit of a pinch. One more shot, thank you. Let's go see what's going on here. Okay, okay, I like this. Walls into the base that are not the Great Wall Gatehouse. Let's see if he can ninja this last gold off the map before the fighting gets a little bit too heated here. He could totally have, like, nest of bees up on the hills and just be giving me the dirty. Come on, team. All right. Yeah, and then, then we have a way in. Okay, he just destroyed the gate here. I like how we were able to see that. That's really funny. So we know he's going to fight us here, and if he has Grenadiers in the choke point, we could just be dead. Oh, he's got a lot of Fire Lancers looking to flank here. Let's just trade armies, though. We can rally back here is probably safer, actually. And bombards. So we're going to take a fight here. It's going to be ugly because of the Grenadiers. Here he comes. Okay, it's fine. Is he going to try and go to my base or something? I'm just going to take out the towers. Yeah, he's got more towers back there. Okay. I think a frontal assault is probably the way. Yeah, good. We just go take a fight here. We lose this position, whatever. Not a huge deal. Fire Lancer's healing is pretty nuts. I wonder if Grenadier still destroy buildings. Probably. All right, so let's gather up. Let's just trade armies. He doesn't have as much gold as we have, so if we trade and lose our whole army, it's probably cost effective for us. All right, let's pull you guys back. Pull you guys back. Pull you guys back. We need to get our Shelty in. All right, great. So now we can uh, we can just get this brawl going. Yeah, seems like it's it's okay damage. Not bad at all, my friends. This other bombard just popped out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's see if we can sneak them away. Yeah, not bad. We definitely put a dent in that army. As a matter of fact, I think it's like... It's almost dead. We should be making horsemen, though, to save gold. Did we actually win that fight? What the hell? How did that happen? Okay, yeah, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, wow, the Roos Knights were able to carry the day. Holy shit. Okay, so if he is indeed low on gold, we, we can just keep trading like this all day and he'll eventually just, just run out of steam. We have a, a big old army ready to go for round two. We see uh, the Red Mongols. Oh, he's he's over here. Oh, this is Yonimus base. Interesting. All right, let's gather up. Because now we have enough um, bombards that I think we can hit the... Uh, Hit the, uh, the the building there. We just need to wait for the rest of the troops to get through. Okay, middle's still going good for us. <clears throat> yeah, Strelty are really good. They're they're an incredibly solid unit. Yeah, we would probably like wonder like right here if we decide we want to do that. Oh, hello. He's like, I didn't hear no bell. You see, his army's mostly archers now. This is like this is where we uh, we trade pretty well. We have a lot of Strelty here. Because China is like having to summon potato units, and we're able to just keep making the good stuff. Palace Guard will trade extremely inefficiently against knights, although not not a bad choice overall. Like they're a good unit, but yeah, the Roost Powder is doing it. <clears throat> it's doing it. 
Dude, I thought I was just gonna die earlier though with that freaking doom stack he had. Okay, he's mixing in some spheres, which isn't a bad choice. Probably you're gonna need some like mangoes or something. Although I'm pretty sure his grenadiers get one shot by the cannons. No, not quite actually. Huh. Linebacker grenadiers. I could build some forward infrastructure, but wood is actually kind of sparse for me. So I don't wanna I don't wanna do that yet. I feel like we'll just gold drain this guy. Mighty champion. Uh I didn't hear no bell, yeah. Well, no, you're doing great, man. People, this is good though, because we're just having a very peaceful trade up here and opponents on the map are just going down, so it doesn't get much better than that. All right, so let's go here. Rest of our army's coming out. All right, so let's see if we can get this down. We might be able to flank us, we'll see. Grab the stone, please. gonna take the Great Wall down. It's gonna happen. Mix in a couple Warrior Priests. Yeah, I always forget to do that with Roos, actually. That's a, that's a good idea. Okay, another another mighty foe has fallen. I like how we just can't get past the Great Wall Gatehouse, the ruins of it. I think we can if we go through here. Alright, so now we have this like weird little choke point. Which I guess is okay for us? It's very strange. Like... The positioning of this is so weird. China's mustering armies, but we are uh, mustering attacks. I actually don't know if we're winning this. It's like really ugly and weird. Okay, the Mongols are setting up towers near us. Maybe they, maybe the Mongols want to save the Chinese. I don't know. Doing some trades. All right, let's uh, take these down. Strelzy are just getting all the all the big trades. Dude, the Great Wall is such a line of sight blocking piece. We might have to start switching into some spearmen too. Although, uh, yeah, those are elite horsemen. Okay, he's not making fire lancers anymore. I really don't like this choke. Let's get back here. Uh, let's see. You guys, do we have any vills up here? We do have some. So they can set up some spearman infrastructure, which I guess we'll set up some forward pressure here. Because if we want to end this, then we can't just keep like shitty supply lines like this, you know? If we want to really finish them off, we have to have troops. Like extra troops. Yeah, those knights are fighting very well here, though. We get some mangoes, do this. I mean, honestly, how many people are down? One, two, three. It it's almost wonder territory, guys. Almost. It's getting to that point, for sure. But let's just gather more resources. He's basically all archer units. What is our eco? 127? That's far too much. Stop making villagers! Oh my god. Cannons! Okay, let's get the cannons back. I love how there's like still some dudes fighting over there. The Great Wall serving serving China even in death by having a nice choke point there. Hey, what the hell is this? Oh no! The Holy Romans are trying to shut down my trade, and they're probably going to succeed. Thankfully, I just have a ton of resources back here. I feel like I need to like finish off China. Like I don't feel like they can do a whole lot other than just kind of troll a little bit here. Let's get upgrades in all our troops. Okay, I mean, yeah. Holy Romans are a threat. The trade the trade network is going to have to just go in base now, which isn't isn't pretty, but... I bet you there's a lot of other people sitting on Wonders, like, waiting. Like, I feel like as soon as one more person dies... Yeah, I have Manganels queued up, guys. It's just a supply lines thing. Mangos have pretty much destroyed this army. Yeah, you can have it, dude. It's all yours. He's rebuilding the Great Wall. He's rebuilding it, but we'll just flatten it once again. Okay, so let's get the bombard cannons to finish the walls. It's so hard to target him, it's like so weird to click on. Oh, am I actually up on his walls? 
Oh my god, we got up on the walls. That's so funny. Yeah, we're definitely trading okay, but he does have a lot of archers. Holy Romans in the middle are a problem. Like, we will, of course, win this fight eventually, but is it worth, is the question. Okay, so the landmark has fallen. Keep pushing. We have to keep a tab on the Holy Romans. If they get, like, turbo aggressive towards my base, I'm going to have to pull back. He's probably has a big food bank, just like me. Okay, looking around. Everything's peaceful. Yeah, I, I'm recovering from a cold right now. That's why. I'm at the tail end, though. That's why I wasn't streaming the past few days. Everyone's like, are you quitting Age of Empires? Is it over? Dude, no. I'm just too weak. We got a lot of gold. Fair amount of stone. We got Spaskaya hidden in the corner, so base sniping us would be very, very difficult. Once the mangoes get here, he's basically dead. I think that will be the uh, uh, the death thrust that is dealt to the Chinese. The momentum will be will be fierce. You can see the mangoes are on the way over. Uh, what do we have around here? Yeah, it's got some wood. It's fine. Let's get on that. Our wood economy sucks. Okay, so they got horsemen moving in. We should have, like, infantry popping out as well. We're not really losing much, actually. China's slowly losing ground. The Streltsy have that static ability where when they shoot, they just, like, do a shit ton of damage if they stand still. So that's really, I think, starting to add up. Oh, I just moved them. Right as I say that, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is, this is really good. Let's, let's just not use it. Turn will be streaming in the retirement home? Yeah, probably. I mean, if, if you guys were still want to hang around and just reminisce on the good old days, for sure. All right, so it's got you. We have the mangoes coming in. So you just got to start killing the infrastructure. Oh, no. Rack and roll. Okay. Oh, okay. It's just a stone wall tower. Although that's very, very uh, disconcerting, actually. We have to keep tabs on that. Definitely need to keep tabs. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Set you up. So China is finally kind of running out of steam a little bit. Are my horsemen just stuck here? I thought they were for a second. It's going to be super sad. All right. Big mango shots. Yeah. If we could have gotten them earlier, man, to make this fight so much easier. Oh... I bet you will, dude. I bet you will. I believe. I mean, you've been a very solid adversary this whole game. Okay. So that landmark should be toast. Perfect. Oh, the dreaded villager pull. We're getting some good role playing out of him. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on in the rest of the map. I really don't. Some an anarchy. You too. Hey, sorry I wasn't typing and role-playing back. I'm just like typing, talking, and playing. You know, it's, it's it can add up. Um, all right, so let's finish these. And then we can go ahead and do this. So. Hmm. So now we get into the farms. I would have liked it had everyone had my stream not ended there. Yeah, you know, the Fire Lancer, that's the thing. The Fire Lancer is a, a really stressful thing to deal with, so that's partially why I felt like I needed to <clears throat> really get in here and try and... After he punished me earlier. Okay, I think we're fine. I think it's just superficial stuff there. We have our, our trade house, too, so that's going to be really nice for... Um, for trading to get you wonder if we decide we want to. There's still a lot of strong players left too though. That's this is a little bit concerning. Can't deny though, threw up a good fight for having Yeah, indeed. Indeed you did. Alright, so that's down. Dude, China has so many landmarks, man. They're so hard to finish. Uh so let's go for the spirit way in the back, I guess. 
yeah, everything's being raided and destroyed. Can you play Cafe or HRE next? If we end up doing another game after this, sure. I played two HRE games tonight already. So Great Wall, I think we've got most of the landmarks. Let's go check. See where he's like hoarding stuff. So the artillery's coming. He already pulled all his bills for a dive. I hate this attack notification in the south. It's it's like constantly making me think I'm about to get owned. So he's got another landmark hidden. You know, he's playing China, so. How many have we actually taken out? <laughs> ah, there it is. There it is, my friends. Okay, so let's get you. And uh, we can go ahead and start setting up this action here. Yeah, he's got a couple units hidden there. GG, well played. I don't think he had any relics, actually, yeah. So he was, he was kind of relic starved. Okay, well, good timing. Good timing indeed. We're going to have to hustle our army home. Where are he's going? Let's see. It's going to take a while to get back. I'm, you know, honestly, part of me is like, do I just leave my army? I think so. Man, it's going to take me a long time to get back to my base. I could get cheese here. All those armies not like that terrifying. It's still still a menace for sure. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think we man. We need to get back. The timing of that was pretty rough, but we should be able to defend ourselves. Okay, so let's just get you guys pull back to the base. I think once our army gets back, we should be okay for holding. But this is gonna hurt. This is uh this is not a friendly engagement here. Leading the army feels a little bit too janky. All right, let's get some loose defenders out if we can. Have them dive the uh, artillery. Come on, guys. Holy Roman, keep doing some good work. Okay, one bombards down. If we get his bombards down, I'll feel a lot safer for sure. That was a well-timed backstab. I guess he was just waiting for the Chinese to die, because he, he knew I would be in their base. Alright team, let's just hold. We just route the Holy Romans and then we re-secure our lands. He says, I strike into his lands, alas, a flank most foul. I love the role-playing, dude. It's so good. Hey, you know, at least he's helping me clear up my, uh, my supply. My artillery is on the ground. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It's going to be tough to hold now. So now we just need to uh, we need to secure our lands again. Okay, so did we lose any landmarks? Doesn't look like it. Streltsy basically hard counter the Holy Romans. Like they just they just do the trick all on their own. Okay, and the artillery finally made it back, and we're good. Great. Yeah, he did some damage though, man. He did. Do we keep our TCs? Alright, head back to the base. Even though it seems like I'm like good on food, you never know, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta have a nice surplus. Elite army tactics probably gonna be necessary here too. And building health. Let's see where this could go. Over there. Here's an okay spot. Unfortunately, there's, it's not like the dream position. That would actually be a really good spot there. Okay, team. You guys, uh, wood is one of our more scarce resources. Try not to, like, put a big target on my head yet. I wonder if the Chinese have a marketplace. Let's get these knights down here. Okay, you guys jump on the stone here. I, I just feel like there's going to be a wonder soon from someone. I don't know who. But I feel like it's coming in the night. Yeah, so we have good military infrastructure. Uh, we're going to need some stables. Not stables, but um, siege workshops. We have a couple, but they're kind of like awkwardly positions. Okay, it looks like a bowl of mashed potatoes is still alive. I'm doing very well. Save that wood. 
I guess we just go like right here if we were to do a wonder. So one, two, three. Let's leave these. Make, yeah, your your base is actually a good spot for a wonder. Like right up here. Holy shit, Koala. That would have been that would have been a really good wonder spot for you. You kind of got screwed over by the old gold <clears throat> gold train, though. It would seem. Dude, hey, rack and roll, man. Don't be giving away my my stats, dude. You're you're giving them free intel. You, you're you can't don't don't stream snipe me and feed it to the other players. Come on, man. You know better than that. Come on now. Okay, so we got our deal. Some random raiding horses up here. Oh, is that a, is he Mongols? Teal? No, he's English. Are we getting siege down here? Looks like we are. Yeah, he's got some sort of artillery. Thankfully, we have uh, two layers of walls, so we should be fine. Got a lot of bills, hustling lumber, which again is nice for building, uh, you know, all sorts of outpostings like that. Okay, let's jump here. Sacred sites. Thankfully, one of the sacred sites is literally in our base. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else do we have? Rams and trebuchets and springalds. Yeah, springalds are going to be necessary, I think. So this is a spot. Um, we need to delete these. Delete this. Yeah, I have an idea. So how many players do we have left? Let's assess this. We have the Holy Romans, the Anonymous, English. And, oh, there's only three other players? Okay, it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an okay spot. So we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going to just buy a shit ton of stone with our trade. Look at that. Look at our stone just skyrocket. Oh, that's so good and tasty. Yeah, the time is now. So obviously the attack... Yeah, see, they're already at our gates. So it's good that we did that. But now it's going to draw the ire of everybody. Dude, oh, they're calling They're calling out the wonder. Oh, dude, Koala, don't stress it, man. You're good. All right, so we need to just fight here. Streltsy. Mangoes. We need to get him into the choke point. There you go. Perfect. All right. Yeah, looks like we got a pretty good fight. Fight amongst ourselves so streamer wins, he says. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's hilarious, dude. I love it. That's so funny. LOL. All right, so we just flattened the Holy Roman Army pretty hard. Streltsy, Streltsy give Holy Roman Armies the business pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see someone come from down here. Oh, shit, they're still alive? Okay. Alright, you guys. So let's take out these. Perfect. Just hang tight. Let's make some more walls. Because why not? Fortify these bad boys. Okay. So, I, yeah, I would expect them to come from the south, although they could just punch in through here. Hard to say what they would want to do. All right, so you bills just go here. You're going to need that lumber. Our food is, you know, we got a decent food bank. Not as much as you would think, though, actually. The Anonymous is building a wonder. That's smart. It's like knowing that everyone's going to go after me now. So if, if they manage to get me, then he just wins, right? Okay, do we have any more, like, actual resources down here? We do have some gold we can get on. And uh, we're going to need some food workers, too. Yeah, you guys go get on the food. We don't want our economy to be completely just dead flatlined, you know? All right, so lumber is still going like a champ. Probably just fo refocus back on food. And we just chill out. We just chill out. Yep, you get the goodies. You guys are pirating that gold. Don't do it. 
<laughs> Let's coordinate the angles of attack. I have to I have to use the mind games. Yeah, so they're gonna come at me. Okay, can you attack your wonder, please? Is he are they asking him to take out their their own wonders? Some weird some weird uh, stuff going on here. Okay, so we got the food back. Fortunately, uh, yeah. Let's just do this. This is going to be like super annoying to dig through. And then we just, we'll just like get like a million spring all towers or something. Uh, I don't think we actually have a normal marketplace anymore, which we're going to need. Yeah, are they, are they actually trying to blast? So Yonibus has got to wonder. Mine's at 12 minutes. I like, you see the fact that Eonimus build a wonder is creating like discord in their, their ranks, right? Like they don't, there's no, there's no trust. Okay, so we have a big invasion coming from the north. That's like the best possible spot it could come from. Okay, so let's pull back. Where are they coming from in the front? Holy Romans are here again. If we can flatten the Holy Romans again, that'd be super prime time. Yeah, he's got one bombard here. So let's get back and then um, prepare the defense. Trying to actually like get these towers up and running. Okay, if he's not paying attention, then we'll just like rebuild this real quick, which will be really funny. Oh, he is, okay. Yeah, so big army here. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. He's got 21 hand cannoneers. The only thing is he doesn't have a lot of bombards. So maybe we're okay. Here comes the Holy Roman army. Okay, perfect. And you guys can... Uh, let's go just hammer the stone. Okay, Strelzy, let's go. Villagers, go rebuild the walls behind them. He's trying to get a keep out. Let's go hammer that down. Um, nobody's attacking... See, the Holy Roman should be attacking me from the south here. This army's coming in, but it's going to take a while to get there. Okay. Alright, so we have given the Holy Romans the dirty. Teal's coming in, but it's going to take some sweet time. We should be ready to fight again. Nice. We got them trapped here. Alright, so let's get you towers. We have these being built. Got a couple of keeps as well. And we force them back. So now we need to go deal with Teal, because he's coming with the Doom Legion. Okay, guys. Um, let's go ahead and delete these. I'll show you why. Because we need this. Otherwise, Horseman might be able to like ride by and actually cause some disruption for us. I don't know if we can beat the teal arm. I mean, it, he doesn't have good supply lines, so I think we're okay. Okay. So, cannons, cannons. A lot of horsemen. Holy shit. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. A little bit of a weird positioning. Uh, yeah, you guys just head down here. We need to gather a bunch of bills there for our Helm's Deep. You guys head down. Just go jump on gold. Gold's just always useful. Streltsy. Yeah, spheres aren't really good. Let's make knights. Decent fight. Yeah, Streltsy are trading okay. But, you know, this is where it gets a little bit messy. Yeah. Okay, we need to gather back here. Alright. Are the Holy Romans coming from the south? They're still not. Okay, good. So that army definitely put some hurt on us. It is an English army. They don't have any um, of the attack speed stuff, though. All right, gather, gather my legions. Let's make some more stables. Perfect. Because they're going to get through a lot of my infrastructure here, but we can rebuild and hopefully... I don't know what Eonimus is doing. I have no idea. All right, so let's get you guys on gold, whatever. All right, so we got a bunch of spring towers. It should be a little annoying. Oh, it looks like he's getting... They're blocking each other. This is a good start. Like, it's all, we, we already have had it for a while, and look, we got a badass army rebuilt here. Yeah, coming through here would be tough. Alright, let's push them out. 
Bruce Knights are just super chads. And um, let's get up here. Torch and torch. See, if they don't have forward supply line bases, then they're not going to ever get me. They, they need that. Our food is okay. The Roost Knights are coming for you. No, nope, that's the wrong building. Keep them hunting. And I would imagine there's going to be some southern pressure this time. Are they coming from this direction? Now they are. Oh, how big of a vulnerability? Yeah, we're pretty entrenched there. Should be okay. Um, what we can do now is also start getting springs here. Yeah. You guys jump here. We have some relics. Whatever. It's not going to go long enough for those relics to really be impactful. Okay, Eonimus is here now. So if we win this fight, then I think we're we're going to win. Like, I think we will. Potentially. We have our rat's nest of towers. All right, let's, let's get in here and get dirty. You guys go jump on this gold node. Yeah, there he's about to discover my haggard city of, of rats. Nice, we just flattened all those HRE crossbowmen. Oh shit, okay, you know, it's a good thing that he just attacked me because he just showed me a vulnerability. I didn't know that you could actually get in there. Okay, let's gather you guys up here. Take down the Mongol army. And we need to secure the hell out of that hill. Jeez. All right, Mongol army got steamrolled. Ooh, yeah, nice. And if they want to fight us, they're going to have to fight us over here. Yeah, this is pretty Helm's Deepy here. All right, let's get you guys here. Set up towers. Resources are getting a little bit sparse, but I think we're okay. Spring alts? No. Spring alts stay back here. The spring alts are for the last defense. Like when bombards start rolling up, it's like something that can uh, start trading. Okay, who's coming next? We have, dude, this mass roost knight army is just so metal, man. It's so tough to get rid of. So we're out of wood. He says, Teal, what are you doing? Yes, they let Palpatine, they let Palpatine do his thing. He did attack me with a nice army. If you take my... Oh, are they attacking each other? Oh, maybe that's what's going on. Okay, let's get this gate down. Get those set up. Holy Romans need to come from this direction, but... Yeah, we, we, do we want to get this set up again? You know what? Screw it. We can, we can get that set up once more. Oh, uh, do we have anything up here? Not really. Yeah, here they come again. He's, he's the English are mustering his troops. Yep, we got nice gold. Let's turn in here. I think there's some like unintentional treachery, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> what, Red, what are you doing, Steptail? <laughs> oh my god, bro, that's so funny. Okay. Yeah, so even if someone did come here, I think we'd be pretty hard. It would be pretty hard for them to get in. Let's go ahead and get that stone. Degroup to that for a little bit more efficiency. Let's go ahead and repair that real quick. Yeah, this army's pretty small. I mean, those are horsemen, but... It seems like the... Yeah, they're not, like, coordinating very well. A little bit of hostility, perhaps. Do we still have the high trade house? Did we lose that? Oh, we do. Let's buy some stone with that. Okay, looking good. We got that gate up on the hill. Maybe I win. I don't know. I, you know, I'm going to see the map after this. Okay, so we got you guys here. We still have our little lumber operation, which is pretty funny. Give me all the gold. Give me all the gold. All right, so do we have any bills that can do something cool? Get to keep up there just to look extra. Oh, one of them took out Eonimus' wonder. Oh my god. Yeah, so... I think they wanted to... Maybe somebody didn't like the, the counter wonder tactics. Okay, we're about to just just give this army the business so hard. So let's ride around the side to see if they have anything. And get our cab flank going. Oh my god, that is an artillery death ball. And yeah, we want to target these. And these and these. Go loose formation. We've got a nice little surround here. 
kill this. Strelzy? Yeah. You gotta have a little more to defend, although he's, he's defending pretty well. Strelzy are just such chads. Yeah, we've almost gotten all the bombards. Yonim yeah, like, Yonimus did a good job there, though. That was a that was a very good trade. So it's like, they just need to do that more of that kind of stuff. Now our spring ults are coming out. Oops, okay. I guess we have the springs here. Might as well use them. All right, so let's get you and you. Okay, very good. So yeah, he's, he's out of bombards now. So basically, there's no way he's getting in. Although English is coming from the north pretty hard. Okay, that's good. There's some scrappiness happening here. All right, yeah, the, the Haggard Wood Towers of Doom are, are holding. Uh, where's his artillery? Oh, classic. Oh, yeah, baby. Is he just going to lose all his arty to me here? He might. So, yeah, when you're defending Wonders, you just you don't really need to worry too much about the main armies. If you got stone walls, it's just about killing the arty. So, like, you got to be really careful not to let this happen. Because now we're just going to, like, he, he just won't be able to get past my stone walls. We'll just die to keeps and random static defenses. All right, so yeah, that was that was very fortunate for us. Holy Romans from the south? No, it doesn't look like it. No, man, we're actually like we're kind of dry on resources though. Okay, another army's coming, but is the question is, is there any artillery? If not, if not, if the answer is no, then we're fine. Oh my God, look how many horsemen! But yeah, they're not going to be able to get in. LOL. Oh, that's so funny. All right, let's just go work the farms, people. Uh, we do have the last artillery piece here. Strelzy are just gunning down all the attackers. Uh, any artillery coming? No, I, I just see mostly horsemen. Alright guys, so that treb has been handled. Let's just jump back on food. With most of the bills. Hmm. Alright, perfect. So, we got all the artillery. You guys can set up more towers here. Why the hell not? Let's just do it. No Holy Roman pressure from the south. Yeah, they, they have the horsemen legions. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, little cannons coming in. You just go torch them. Let's push these guys out. I think we're good. I think we're good. Quite a scrappy match. We're going to lumber. Ooh, actually, we got to be careful not to do that. We could, like, straight up GG well played. We could straight up Lumberjack away in for them here, which would be pretty bad. Oh no, villagers. Yeah, let's get you get back into the, the Helm's Deep here. Yeah, I think we got it. 9, 10 seconds. Nothing's close to us. Yep. All good. Yeah, there, it seems like a lot of them are out of gold. Oh, Streltsy are so cool, man. Roos is so good in this, uh, with Stonewall Towers, man. Oh my god. Roos actually becomes, I think, like a really really strong f evasive like here's the thing about roos roos are really good before okay but the problem with them before is the wood walls so you couldn't like have these you would just get cheesed by dives um but now that we can stone wall we have a lot of really strong mechanics right we have the um we have the trade house so in the late game if we have like 20 30 charges of the trade house bank we can get like 10,000 stone easy Let's look and see. Yeah, oh, oh my god, look where Ionimus Wonder was. Holy shit. Oh my god, how did they even get this? How the hell did the, this die? Maybe these towers weren't upgraded. I think a horseman ride by came. <clears throat> hey, GG. GG, everyone. Uh, cheers, man. I think the Haggard strategy of building the second wonder is no good anymore. It does kind of make you a target because everyone knows what you're doing. It, it, it kind of shows that you're not a team player. No one tolerates it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It takes away the team trust. But now that we can build stone walls and FFA, Roos also have better spring alds, which are a really good defensive unit. Um, we didn't really get to use them, but Streltsy are really good. Hey, bowl of mashed potatoes. You did great. Yeah, my starting position was very good too. I feel bad for Gunhound. He was like right here. He's all, he he kind of got screwed there a little bit. Um, really good starting position for China, except they didn't have a lot of gold was the problem. Like, there was some gold in the Mongol base, but we took that away. Getting control of the middle on these maps is so important. <coughs> yeah, rough. I mean, most other people had good spots, really. Like, there was a lot of strong bases. 
Holy Romans were kind of a, they had a nice mountain pass set up. You know, they had like all these mountains. Like, you, oh, you could do a wonder up here. Holy shit, that'd be cool. Yeah, that was a fun one. It was a fun one. All right, so um, that is going to be it for tonight. It's a little bit of a shorter stream, guys. But don't worry if I'm continuing to feel better tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Age again tomorrow. So you guys can set your clocks. About 12, 13 hours from now, we'll have another stream. And um, we'll do 1v1s. And then we'll close out just like we did today. Well played, everyone, to CNN, CCNN, uh, Rack and Roll, Gunhound, Bowl of Mashed Potatoes, The Anonymous, Nobody's Business, but the Turks and Cereal Pharrell. Thank you, guys. It was really fun. Horsemen are very strong. Yeah, they're good. Well, to be fair, to be fair, they were Roos horses, knights with boyars plus uh, imp upgrades. But we'll be back tomorrow. Don't worry, guys. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Age is still one of my favorite games to stream, and I don't see it going anywhere. So, for anyone who's an age enjoyer on the channel, like, uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah, it was a great game. GG, well played, guys. If you enjoyed the stream, please do drop a like on the way out. Helps out. Helps keep the age train going. And we'll be back tomorrow. Should be fun. Thank you again, guys, for the donations. We had some really generous ones from the. Uh, let's take a look. From the Templar Knight, T Rex Push Ups, one of my favorite names. Ezekiel. Pedro, thanks for being a member for so long, brother. Ryan, Koala, thank you for the tenor. Eric for the fiver. T-Rex push-ups. Endemic for this $79.99, man. Thank you so much. That's a huge one. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Koala, Sealy, and Ledgeron, thank you for the generous one. And Owen, I think that's uh, I think that's the full party for today. GG, guys. It was fun. Take care of yourselves. See you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Like, look, I like to stream age every... like. Even when Immortal Empires launches for Total War, I'm going to be streaming Age at least three times a week. At least three or four. Like, I love this game. I, I love the community we have here. It's so fun. The multiplayer is really fun in this game. Like, I feel like we all get to hang and it's good. So, see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Dovidenia, dobranots. And uh, that is going to be it for uh, tonight.